importance to both clubs significant. Well, round 19 from the Adelaide Oval. Port Adelaide and St Kilda. Final spots up for grabs in the run to September. And out of the middle, Ryder has had such a good season. Want to bounce back after last week. Boak through his hands. Good pick up by Sam Gray. Back for Boak. Inside 50, the power go first time. But Webster, a nice mark taken in defence. Across to Geary. Under pressure. Chance for the turnover. Wines just hacked it off the ground. Going in hard was Boak. Through, and the free kick going to the Saints for incorrect disposal. The Saints at the start of the year told us, through they, they were going to be more central. They were going to play the corridor and they were going to deny their opposition the corridor use. Over the last four weeks, no one's used the boundary more than St Kilda. I'd well, like to see them stay aggressive, really put the game back to the opposition, try and be a bit bold. A bit more proactive, a bit bolder yep. with their ball moving around the back half. It's a little bit pedestrian, a little bit predictable. Tell you what I want to see. I want to see some fight from them around the stoppages today because Port will be tough. They were a bit soft last week in the stoppages. Uh, their contested ball was down. They'll be right up today, the power. And if St Kilda aren't, then Port will expose them here away yeah, from Melbourne. Plenty of push and shove around the stoppages in the early stages as these two sides just feel each other out. Ryder against Longer. Ryder the hit out down. Ross will get there first. Tackled by West off. Webster didn't want to take possession. Went to the line. Dunstan kept it alive and then off the boot of Powell Pepper. Actually worked out okay for the Saints. They'll get the free kick. A little bit of luck. Dunstan so good last week. 29 disposals. Eight inside fifties and a goal. Oh. Now Nunes. Move it on. Play on. Long to half forward. Big pack up. Bruce floating in front. To Play Rutten on. spoil it down. After Acres and Longer. And we might be destined for another stoppage. Gonna be that sort of game, Rue, isn't it? We're just Take yep. your territory, get your meterage, lock the ball in, start again, another clearance. When it's wet, footy hadn't changed for 100 years. Yeah. You know, just get in and be tough and get the ball forward and be predictable, get front and square, mark it on your chest, kick it off the ground. All about trying All to get territory, which is what Wines was doing. Boundary line looming again. That's why I think it's critical that last defender, that last line defender becomes a really important part of your artillery today. You can't get beaten, you can't let the ball get over the back. He's yeah. got, be, got to get his positioning right, it's got to be sound. Have a look at the radar there, boys. There's going to be rain coming in uh, <laughs> pretty much throughout the entire game, I would have thought. It's going to be a tough afternoon. Set for a scrap. We uh, didn't know whether Robbie Gray was going to start forward or in the midfield. He's definitely forward at the moment. Got Jaron Geary on his shoulder. Jarman Impey's up there as well. So is Sam Gray. Uh, advantage taken, and Dunstan will send it long into the pocket. Bruce wrestling and taking a great mark in the wet. He's got a big roll to, to play tonight, Bruce. They, they ended up making a late move. He got Marshall out of the side, the young forward who plays in the ruck. I think you'll see Bruce have to go in the ruck as well. So he needs to both kick some goals and play in the ruck, especially with Revolt out and Marshall omitted late. Kick four goals against the Crows in round 12 at this venue. He's looking for the great start for the Saints, but he's put it across the face. And the best part about the start they've had, it's in their forward half now, so they've just got to lock it in. We know the wet weather, you can push your back line up and just condense it, Port Adelaide. Well, it'll be tough to go coast to coast here. Wonder, Dicko, whether you would have started Robbie Gray. Given these conditions, starting Robbie Gray forward as opposed to starting him in the midfield and, and getting his clearance game rolling. Yeah, I would have started him in the midfield, Kingy, no doubt. Uh, you don't want to go too small uh, through the middle of the uh, oh, half-forward line. They just um, they need Charlie Dixon back deep. That's the way they've got to play it. Akers pulled off his kick and Burnt Jones taken over the line. I think they also want to try and say to the mids, boys, if we're going to go anywhere in finals... We need you mids to get the job done so we can have the X Factor in Robbie Gray up in the forward line. If Robbie has to go there every time they drop off, then they're going to rob their forward line. So it's a bit of an interesting one, but tough call. Ryder worked his way to the front, knocked it down to Wines. Powell Pepper did correctly get rid of the ball, so he's given away the free kick. Gee, really good tackle pressure here. 11 tackles to one at this stage in favour of St Kilda. Well, that's a good sign. That's Great a mindset sign. sign. They're ready to play. They've, they've come oh. wanting to do all the little things. Sometimes in these conditions, 
back in turn to scores. Well, Gresham with the free kick, and he just sets it up to the top of the square. Bruce presents oh. again, hands to it, but so tough to take. It was touched off the boot of Ryder. So it'll be a boundary throwing. It's a good point you're making. They've struggled over the last month with any structure with their ball movement, but this takes it out. Uh, their pressure game has been there most of the year, so it plays right into the Saints' hands. Bruce, such a good opportunity a few moments ago, but extremely tough to take overhead marks in these conditions. Ryder, just a clearing kick, trying to get it out of defence, but it's going to come straight back in. It's a real challenge now for the Port back six to keep their discipline and not give away a soft free kick. Akers just puts it into a dangerous area again. Oh, it's actually going the power's way. You almost uh, called it, Kingy. I thought Nostradamus was here for a minute. Well, it is, it's a test, Rue, isn't it? These oh, repeat absolutely. inside 50s. The pressure builds. You start to feel the tension in the game, especially, and you can often grab especially it. Especially for Jack Holm. She's been out of the side for a while, so a bit nervous, potentially. In this week, Power Pepper kept it moving forward. Dixon couldn't hang on to it. Good pick up Dunstan. They're taking a ground. That was a good tackle from Dixon following up. Let's have a look at the free here. Homsch is in front. Oh, dear. What was that for? He paid a hold. Yeah, doesn't make hold sense. Against against Bruce. West off, gunning some metres. Bike did nicely to trap it. Now oh. the support of Ebert. Almost tackled high by Ross. Call to play on. West off in there. Sam Gray as well. He didn't have it, and we'll get a free kick. Again, it's, it's about being disciplined, not charging in, thinking your way through things, taking your time. It's got to be smart in the wet. Pittard takes the mark. Been dropped a couple of times. Yeah, he this has. Season. He has. Uh, not sure if that's what well, is form, but we're not sure if there's a groin issue there that's sort of causing oh. that a little bit as well. But some people are suggesting it's uh, impeding his running and his and his kicking at the moment. Almost a good mark to Wines, but the free kick that went to out. Dixon. And he goes to the top of the square. Dangerous ball. Pollock! What a push. And a free kick now going back to the Saints. So the power denied a goal there. Well, the push was there. And that's the only reason he marked the ball in the end. So the umpire's got that spot on. Right, they've coughed it up again. St Kilda. I'm not sure about the, the low dart sort of uh, kicks out of back 50 in these conditions. Surely... You kick as long and as high as you can on most occasions. This is gettable for Charlie. He can kick a ball a long way. I mean, he's going to have to do a lot right to put this through, but definitely worth a shot. He's having a great season, Charlie Dixon. Left it. Nail it from outside 50. Pretty good contact, but never really on line. And St Kilda able to rush it through. Let's have a look at this Polak free. Let's watch his hands. Yes. Just gave him a little shove there. And that was a free kick. So the right decision made. Long kick by Nunes. Out of defence. Bruce hands to it. Hartlett. His handball knocked down. Now Broadbent. Through to Polak. Over the top now. Sam Gray. Tucked up in the pocket. The hooking kick back was dangerous. It was nicely done by Dunstan yep. to intercept. Porter holding their press. They've got three men outside 50 now, just trying to make it difficult for St Kilda to bring the ball out of their 50 with any speed. Saints have got to be patient. Can't just blast. Webster put Akers under a fair bit of pressure. Spills to Jonas, who goes in short. Impey couldn't hang on. And then lays a crunching tackle, but infringed. It's a good battle. It's a good battle early, Rue. Yep. Nothing easy today. This is where I'd like to see St Kilda be a little bit more aggressive. You're central at the moment. Can you get a runner to, to surge run through the middle of the ground? There's space everywhere. McKenzie, who was the late inclusion for Marshall. Long up to the wing. Power have the numbers out in the back. Pitta off a step. Sprays it wide. Just to back over your point, Kingy, I would throw Robbie Gray up into the midfield now. We've had nine stoppages in the first five minutes, so I don't think he's going to get his opportunities out for. Get him in the game. Get him up through the middle. That kick from Pittard out in the full. They're kicking at 29% at the moment, Port Adelaide, compared to St Kilda's 59. Good sport by Jonas down. McKenzie will do the roving, though, over the top for Gresham. He runs into his own teammate while he was being tackled. Billing snatched at it, left it behind. White went in hard. And the support of Sam Gray. A bigger body of Ross able to knock him off it. Good work by McKenzie again, but 
Charlie Dixon too strong and takes him to the turf. Yeah, the kicking from Port Adelaide, not great at this stage, but their contested possession has been pretty good. 17-9 Port Adelaide's way. St Kilda cannot afford that to, to continue to happen. They need to toughen up a little bit around the ball, the Saints. Heap of numbers around this stoppage. Long up. Saints able to get it out in the back. Robertson slipped the handball a little bit short. Brown after it. Steele as well. Got it back to White. And now Ross. And they can find a little bit of room. Nunes. The one-two. Ross around the wing. Bouncing ball. Tough for everyone to take. A clean ball. The entire pack. But Hartlett can mop it up. Burn jones trying to go yeah. the outside of the boot around the boundary line. It's low percentage stuff. Out of bounds on the full. Low percentage, especially if you kick it in the middle of the ball too much and it goes the opposite way. Now kicking at 28%. So that's nearly unheard of in footy. Conditions obviously having a just massive say in that. Was he see another free pay? Getting their opportunities here, the Saints. But the organisation behind the ball from Port Adelaide is really good at the moment. Spare numbers rolling back. This will go to an out number. Maloney into the pocket. And they do have that two-on-one down there. Port Adelaide. Pitter couldn't take the mark. Homsch has Sam Gray in the back pocket. It was a tough one to take. If you don't get your passing exactly right, you'd be putting yourself under pressure. Yeah, you're giving opportunities for the opposition to score. Interesting. Uh, Westhoff has already gone behind the play. Now, it's been happening for a long time. Westhoff goes behind the play if Port Adelaide are in trouble. They're not in trouble at this stage, but they've pushed him back very, very early just to help their back line here. Trengo into the ruck for Port Adelaide. Oh, and a free kick. Yeah, we paid here. That's the discipline we talk about when you're approaching the ball or the ball carrier to just make sure you, you keep your composure and don't rush at the head or just throw an arm out and take a player too high. They're soft free kicks. There's really not a lot in there. Oh, he had his arm over his shoulder. You'd, you'd say, was there, you watch Pal Pepper. Just here, but it's, it, there's not a huge amount in it. But you just got to be careful when the head's down. I hate using the word, but you almost have to concede possession. Right, Loney to have the shot on goal has been inaccurate at times this season, but this would be a big goal for the Saints. They get the first one of the game. Wet weather footy, you just have to stick your head over the ball, you have to pick the ball up cleanly, you have to limit your handball. And you have to be careful in situations like this. There's not much in it, but he's a bullet of gate. He's a bullet of gate, Power Pepper. And sometimes you're going to give those frees away. It's it's a dive. There's no doubt it's a dive. Right? I mean, he's thrown himself back the reverse way of contact. I mean, they like seeing it. There's a Saints pressure graphic. You can see the last couple of weeks well down. 180 is the AFL average. If you get to 200, that's when you start winning games of football. Good to see it back in vogue tonight. 16 tackles already for St Kilda. Certainly putting the pressure on. They got some reward with the first goal of the match. Now Pittard, a nice sidestep. Loops the handball up. Pal Pepper, a fumble with the slippery football. And out to half forward. Bouncing ball. Impey up to meet it. That knocked it back. We, we highlighted Port Adelaide's kicking efficiency pre-game. Uh, they were uh, 16th in the comp for kicking efficiency and number one in the comp for clanger kicks. Going at 25% Kingy from 20 kicks so far. And a lot of those trying to manufacture things. Just keep it basic, go down the line, fight for a next opportunity. Steele just got caught up in the tackle, almost threw that out to Stephen. But the power get the ball back through Boone Jones. Along the boundary line, winds, front position, yeah. and a bit of communication between the umpires and out of bounds on the full of the court. As we speak about clanger kicks and kicking efficiency, I mean, there's there's no need for that by Burn Jones. He's kicking into his forward line. He could have put it further away from the boundary. Steele takes it instead. Goes long up the wing. Membry attacked it hard, knocking it down. Cleary, good pick up. Shares it with Jonas. Lost it. Now Burn Jones going forward, taken by Dunstan. Now Webster, Steele. They go wide. Sinclair goes short. Good movement here. Billings with a driving kick to the 50. And the one-on-one. -on -one. Akers had height there on Broadbent but couldn't mark oh. it. Now Robbie Gray. <laughs> what a clean pick up. Just showing his class in the wet. But then the turnover. He kicked it straight to Carlisle. Had nothing else forward. Yeah, he's a freak, Robbie Gray. And that's why you can put him in the midfield. He'll be cleaner than anyone if you throw him up around the ball. White with a long kick inside. 50 and Bruce 
Out positions, out muscles his opponent and takes the mark. Yeah, that, that's the first time they've switched the ball. It's, it's, it's flirting with the corridor, but it's the first time they've been able to get the ball in fast play St Kilda. They haven't been able to do that for at least two weeks, if not if not six weeks, because they haven't played their game room. Their pressure game's on, and I like this ball going quickly inside the forward 50. Give your tools a chance. Good representation at ground level. It's a real challenge now for Port Adelaide to wrestle back some sort of control or momentum here. Josh Bruce missed a shot earlier on. This one from a much easier angle, but he sprays it wide. And another behind. Just needs to be kicking them goals, uh, those goals. If you're, you're away from home and you're having a good run, gee, it makes a difference if you put scoreboard pressure on. I brought Ben out of fullback. Lines again competing in the air. Couldn't hang on. Ross, they put the arm up for the fend off. And a great tackle. Yep. Yep. You're right, Ruth. I mean, if Bruce kicks his first two opportunities, the, the energy levels of the Saints, it, it, it rises 20 to 30%. Well, yours goes up and the opposition goes down. That should have nearly been a free kick to Port Adelaide there with that arm from Ross. Yeah, MP might have been taken high from the stoppage. Hartlett Tackle. took a little too long. Winds after it. Maybe destined for another stoppage. Ball up. Thank you. Up again. Face the footy, Jack. It's been a good start for the Saints. If they beat Richmond a couple of weeks ago, they've struggled in the last two weeks. But their pressure numbers are up in this first quarter. They're certainly up for the contest. Yeah, the tackling's awesome. 20 to 11. They'll be pumped with that. Alan Richmond would have really put it on them today. Boys, it's time to stand up. Everyone, young fellas, old fellas, we, we've got to win this game. Do you want to play finals? We have to win today. If you're going to win today, you've got to be tough around the ball. Of course, Port looking to respond as well after a, a poor first play half on. against Melbourne play last on. week. Play says play on. Dunstan to Webster. A long kick to half four. Great mark by Hopsch. That is a great mark. Good to see him back in the side. He's been a fantastic player the last couple of years. Struggled with a bit of injury early. Just couldn't quite get his game going. Good to see him back. Up the wing. Great. Well, we oh, paid the mark. Nearly Please. paid that a bit early. Yeah. You know they're feeling a bit of pressure, Port. They had a couple of uh, players inside them but didn't want to take the kick. So uh, credit to St Kilda. They've turned it on them here early. Great short to Impey. Another short one, back to Gray. That's the kick that opens up the corridor. Well, Robbie Gray, if he gets an opportunity, will we'll squirt this across and will overlap yeah. as he has. Drew the man to him and out. Impey can set it up to the 50. Dixon the target, Carlisle. Well, that's what Carlisle does the best. Drops off, sort of third man up, comes and takes the mark. Last week got stuck back there on uh, was it Sinclair and uh, got outmarked a few times. So a long ball up the wing. Pittard with a spoil. Broadbent now to weave it. Bit of space this time for the power. And it goes short to Boak. He wants to switch it. Amon. And actually retreated there, Port Adelaide. It's allowed the Saints to get back with a few extra numbers. Now Ryder presents. Still too far out to kick the goal. He steps off his line, so has to go. He sends it long to the top of the square. Dixon arriving oh, late, but Carlisle yeah. gets back again. He's much better when he can drop off and do this sort of stuff. A couple of real key marks early here, Carlisle. So defenders for both sides taking some good marks so far. There's Billings. He tried to spear a ball. As you said earlier, Rude, not the day for that. Robbie Gray intercepts. He sidestepped the first tackle, and now Polek back for Burn jones Port Adelaide still searching for their first goal, but that one's gone straight to white. Yeah, now, Jackson Trengove is the player that's trying to go with Carlisle. He did the job on Alex Rance uh, four weeks ago, five weeks ago. He's having his challenges here. Port need to utilise Trengove on the hit-up. Exactly. Get, get him, uh, honour a couple of leads and draw Carlisle back to the match And he's got to present himself in a position where he can be found as well. So it's a two-way effort there for Port. Ben Dixon, you spoke about it pre-game. There's been a lot of intercept marks for the Saints as Pittard goes inside 50 this time. There's almost another one there. Yeah, he'd come in preparing for that, as we've seen, but Jake Carlo obviously dominating in that area early. So uh, you expect it in the wet weather. You just want to get it in, but um, he's reading it a lot better than their forwards. A couple of repeat entries here for the power. Trying to put some pressure on St Kilda. Ryder in the ruck. Pushed longer out of it. Now oh. we see a free kick for over the shoulder. So we saw one 
That's St Kilda's in. Now they've got one going to the powder. Ollie Wines. That, that's yeah. the discipline route. I know it's a silly thing, but there's there's more and more of these free kicks being paid week on week in the AFL right now. You've got to have composure, particularly in your defensive 50, to come charging in a breakneck speed. You take a player high, it's the easiest free kick in the world to give. And, and when a bloke's got his head, head over the ball, you know the umpires want to pay. You've got to concede in that position or reach around them. You can't be the bull at a gate. Took them 23 minutes into the second quarter to get their first goal last week against Melbourne. Well, they're still searching for the first one this afternoon. And Hamish Hartland just down on the boundary line here for Port getting his left hamstring assessed by the physio. So I'll keep you posted if there's any further uh, uh, injury to him at the moment. Thanks, Dicko. Savage out of defence. And there's going to be a down-the-ground free kick. Well, that takes all the pressure off for the Saints. Against Charlie Dixon. Been playing with a lot of aggression, Big Charlie, doing a lot more than just kicking goals this year. Nunes sends it in the Bruce direction, had three to beat, and Pittard stands tall in front. It's the Saints down the line and not a scoring prospect. They need to make sure they get some width into the game, utilise the fat side of the ground, and it's, it's take a risk or two. They're not going to win playing safe footy. Nunes, hunted up by Tringo, good pick up by Young. Another of those returning high ball inside 50. White's going back, but secured with the numbers. White out of defence. This kick has to be spot on. It's a good one to Ross. It's great work by Sam Gray to put the pressure on as well. But McKenzie can yeah. recover for St Kilda and open it up through the middle of the ground. Steele had a running support from Webster. Driving kick inside 50 and Weller stretches and marks. He's got a man on in the goal square. Still screaming for it was Bruce, but Weller will go back and have a shot. What a fantastic kick from McKenzie. That's exactly what we're talking about. Have the courage to kick into the corridor. Is a young fella just trying to make his way into the St Kilda lineup. He's the first one to really bite off a risky opportunity, and it's given them a chance to hit the scoreboard. Fantastic from the Saints half-back. Matt Weller dropped after round 15, back in the side for St Kilda after 28 and two goals in the VFL last week. And another opportunity missed there. It's Tringo and Polex here over the line for a rush behind. Good call, Kingy. That opened up. Didn't get the goal there with that kick inside uh, from half back there, but certainly provided a scoring opportunity. Broadbent again with the kick in duties. McKenzie in front. Young able to keep his feet. Carlisle with an awkward tackle. Got it up to Robbie Gray. Whoa. Now Boak under pressure. He just wobbles a high ball. Up the wing. Lions had too many to beat. Savage. He was tackled strongly. Longer, desperate after it. Brown in there as well. Trengo. Now Dixon. Port Adelaide have got it back. West off Ebert. Just a little fumble. Allowed Steele to lay the tackle. Got it forward. Sam Gray, elusive. And then kicking quickly inside 50. Now Impey's quick. Nunes had to wait for the ball to bounce. He controlled it pretty well there, the same. And he saw it to the line. You can already see that impact through the middle of the ground, Robbie Gray. Just a couple of stoppages, some touches there, just to clear them out of the space. Looks like Hamish Hartlett coming back on the field, boys. So good news for Port Adelaide. At least going to give the hammy a try. We'll keep an eye on him. Tringove. And Longer in the ruck. Flicks over the back. Steele. And Ebert battling for it. McKenzie swoops in and sends it up the wing. And another good mark taken by Hopsch. Oh, that's good for his confidence. Oh, the kick puts Jonas under a fair bit of pressure. Sinclair just bumped off it. Got the big shove. Pittard cleverly knocked it on to Polek. And now the long kick, but didn't really look. It's also killed her back there. And a nice take by Savage going back the with the flight. Kicking's been horrible, Port Eric. And that's their tenth clanger for the quarter. The record out of anyone is ever in one quarter is 12, Kingy. So the long kick up the wing, off the hands of Bruce Pollock. Way to Jonas. Probably one to the 50. Impey with the flight. Not really conditions for some high marking, but he launched himself there. It's actually their 11th clanger kick, so they're only one off the record. That's in a quarter this year. The ball spun back in. Longer and Ryder. Back towards the boundary line. Ebert just lets it roll. Thought about going off the deck, but there was a high percentage he would have kicked it out of bounds on the full, so 
just did the safe thing. We're going to see a lot of this today, Roo. A lot of boundary throw-ins. It's going to be a scrappy game, an ugly game in a lot of ways. This is where the stars of the competition, we're talking about wines. Uh, we're talking about Robbie Gray stepping through these opportunities. Well, they're made for these. They are, aren't they? So is he, but he's strong. Gray trying to get after that one. Young in there as well, clear to path. Gray, the quick handball. Oh. West off, bumped solidly by Weller. Slings the ball back through the middle of the ground. Hopsch had it spinning out of the tackle, then back into it was Loney, and he's in trouble. Good pressure. This is a great contest. A yep. really good contest. A good old-fashioned game of footy. So much on the line. Oh, yeah. As that's a beautiful kick, and it beyond the lead. Couldn't believe the amount of space he was able to find. He can go back and have a shot. Much better kick from Pittard there. That's Pittard. That's what he's been doing for a long time. Just running off halfback, hitting the targets. And it was smart by the port forwards. They created that space. They ran back to goal, and if you're in it, they moved up as well. So, smart play. If he's still having a bit of a look around. 13 inside 50s this quarter, Port Adelaide yet to get a goal. 13 goals for the season. Leans back on that one. Oh. And into the post. Just start to get the game back on their team. Yeah, I think if they get their kicking going a bit better, they'll start scoring pretty quickly. Robert. Oh. Flirting with the boundary line. Bruce up to meet it. Off hands. Certainly their midfield is a better hand built for these conditions, Kingy. Like you said before, Wines, Gray, Pow Pepper, uh, really strong bodies compared to uh, St Kilda's mids. They've dominated the last 10 minutes, Port Adelaide. And they still haven't found their opening goal of the game. Ryder knocking it down once and then a second time. Robertson fumbled under pressure. They all drew to him. He got it over the top to Ross. Polet keeps it moving in the Powers direction, but... Boundary line too close. So a minute to go in this first quarter. We, we knew it was going to be low scoring. Probably didn't think it was going to be this low scoring at this stage, yeah. but of course, a couple of shots at the miss by uh, the Saints were very gettable. Very early. Dark and overcast day in Adelaide this afternoon. Webster missed with a kick. Akers fumbled it up to Ryder. It spills through. Dixon is there. He had West off in support as well. Got his boot to it and somehow found the goal. Well, the Hoff. He can do everything for him. He can go back and stem the tide. He can go in the ruck, play on the wing, or he can float forward and kick a goal. Didn't have much time to get the boot to ball there, but managed to get the first goal for Port Adelaide. He's averaged 20 disposals a game this year. That's his 13th goal. Well done by Charlie Dixon to try and get it out to him. And it almost looked like a drop kick, was it? Really poor defensive play. Really poor. He's clever, isn't he? Oh. Yeah, the Hoff. They fall asleep on him there? Well, he was on his own for a long time in the forward 50, so... Who's going to him at the moment? Is that Carlisle? No, he's got Brown going to him. Out of the middle again. Young, unconventionally, just gaining distance. It bounces its way in. Pow Pepper will get the run of it, trying to turn his opponent. Looks up, kick smothered. Knocked down. Webster, he dropped oh. it as well. Just trying to hack it out of the area. Hamon gathers back in the side, snapping it around his body. And the power kicked two quick ones late in the first quarter. Great kick by Eamon. Good to see him back in the side. He's had uh, some injury issues this year. Yeah, let's have a look at this one. Yeah, that was a, just Jimmy a, Webster. trying to get it out of the uh, goals and didn't get any height on it at all. But that's a cracking kick in these conditions by Eamon. Hey, you've, got to be, you've got to be better than that. Uh, much, better, kick. much better. Much better. That's a horrible mistake to make. Great finish. Back into the side tonight. He needs to hit the scoreboard. Needs to make an impact, Rue. But gee, when you're clearing the ball from your back fifth, these are sort of errors that are going to separate today's game. Yeah. And then uh, we said they start getting their kicking better. They'll score goals. That's exactly what's happened. Avon with his first game back in the AFL since round 10. Kicking an important goal, but Gray's kick was smothered. Allows the Saints to go forward. And Bruce so close to taking the mark. He had it on the chest for a moment. And that might almost do us. For quarter time as he and Jonas continue to wrestle. In fact, it'll be a free kick to Port Adelaide. Yeah, good umpiring. Just wanted to make a bit of a statement there. The uppies, three seconds to go. It's yep. good time to pay it. That's right. 
Ebert just going to go long. And clear it away as oh. Charlie Dixon with a big flight. And that will do us an intense but entertaining opening quarter here at the Adelaide Oval. St Kilda started brightly, but the power hit back late in that term and lead it by six points. We've got a great game on our hands. Second quarter is underway at the Adelaide Oval. Round 19 between the Power and the Saints. Right at the first hit out. Sinclair is able to knock it away to Dunstan. With a long kick, it was touched off the boot. Bruce almost nudged underneath it by Hopsch. And it's going to be a boundary throwing. Well, contest, contested possession, 70% of contested possession is ground ball. And that's going to be that sort of day, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. 120 minutes of ball in the deck today. Who wants it more? And you'd have to say at this stage, it's Port Adelaide. Longer able to get his hands to that. Wines crashing in there. Billings now over the top of it. Hold a meter, guys. Hold a meter. Jasper. Reset and go again. We'll see a lot of stoppages this afternoon, given the conditions. Ryder, a hit out down. Polek tackle. Young, his kick smothered off the boot. Steven gets a possession, kicks it up to Bruce. Ball off hands. Clurie now under pressure. He's got some support there. Bruce was trying to knock it away. Hopsch was steady to Polek. Now Young just had to go off a step. Tacking it hard was Dixon. He did just enough to Jarrett Loose. White had nothing to kick to forward. So he just handballed to a 50-50. That was great work off the deck by Wines. Now oh. Gray. Wines ducked his head in the tackle, trying to escape. But eventually, the Saints' numbers went out. And they go long through Acres. But the advantage won't be paid. I caught it back and uh, thought about it for a long time too. Because it was a long kick to uh, space in the four line. Just come around here. Could have nearly been an advantage to let it go. Power was scrambling to get back. Now Savage gets a go at it. Again, Bruce with too many to beat. Pittard knocks it towards the line. He did give it a good knock, but he had aim on there. Earlier in the year, that might have been deliberate, but uh, not at this stage. The Saints model is to kick a high ball to the top of the goal square. Give your forwards an opportunity, a reference point for your crummers. Really poor representation for that high ball. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be, level. you got to be one-on-one -on -one there, or at least have a very strong big man. Ryder too strong there in the ruck. Longer went nicely at ground level. Young's kick, intercepted by Gresham. Good awareness to create the sidestep, then send it to Membry. Clary got the spoil. Pittard out of the air was creative. Just clearing it away. But some kill to recover. Savage to Robinson. A bombing ball back inside 50 again. And easy for Jonas, though he had time to recover after dropping the mark. Go wide for Hartland. Hartland back out there. We said he was getting some work done on a hamstring early in that first quarter. Set up Ebert there. Strong spoil. Come across. But Adelaide still have it. Ebert goes again. Wrapped up by Ross. Put on the boot by Hartlett. Up to half forward. Dixon two bites at it. And White out wide. Did well, Charlie. And Pollock arriving. Did nicely to set it up. And now White's high ball straight to Carl of it through his fingertips. Young's waiting out the back. They got aim on it on in the square. Trengo just couldn't find it to him. Gee, it, I'll tell you what, that matchup, Trengo versus Carlo, is a good hit coming here. Bang. Yep. Good spoil, took all the fair. ball and all. All fair. That's what we love about our game. But that matchup is the game at the moment. Trengo versus Carlo in a great position again to intercept Mark. He took three in the first quarter. Trengo's first possession just there was a, a pretty poor kick across goal in the end. Well, Webster puts Stephen under all sorts of pressure. And then they have to try and force it over the line. We know the Saints have played down the line a fair bit. Uh, we spoke about uh, the structure around the stoppage. They've also got to have the structure down the line as well. I think they've just lost their way a little bit with that. Port Adelaide uh, on the flip side of that have been very positive in that area. Certainly no one going to Jake Stevens at this stage. So he just needs to improve his output. Only the two disposals. Dunstan after it. Ross. Webster. Touched off the boot. Ryder, he had a, was able to knock it away. His Ross. Good kick. It was to some space. And Membry working hard to get there. Took the mark, a very open forward line. He chips it over the top. And he's looking for the pace of Bruce Clurry right there with him. They wrestle with each other rather than going the football. The toe poke to the line. And Amon will keep it in. Port Adelaide get out of trouble momentarily. 
Kick wide off hands and over the line. Just wonder with this inside 50 arm wrestle that's going on between both coaches' boxes whether it's worth having a look at Ryder deep forward for a little while and giving Trang over run in the ruck. Just see what that does to Carlisle. Yep, good see call. See if it changes the secure to back six well, and make up. They actually did do it early in that first quarter, King. Abnormally early uh, for Ryder to go forward. I was actually thinking whether he'd had come into the game with a bit of an injury or a bit sore, but maybe that's what they're trying to do. Howdy, Billy. See Aaron Hill having an impact on his return. Getting some more midfield minutes with Chad Wingard out of the lineup. Jack Stephen, I'm going to get it back. Kick Ooh. from Akers was smothered. Ryder squeezed it through the pack and good hands by Dixon. He wants to move it. He tries to skim the ball out into the path of MP. Carl all over ran it. Tringo there with him. Now Geary's got some problems. He goes straight to the line. Oh. Yeah, I think he's going to be in some trouble. No, throw it in. The condition's taken into account. <laughs> that's, that's lenient. That's incredible. Well, he was pushed as he kicked it, Rue. Oh, come on. Come yeah. on, Rue. No. Look, that is that is about a 180-degree flip from <laughs> earlier in the year. Not 90, 180. <laughs> a rider <laughs> down the throat of wine. Wow. It was fair to say it wasn't popular with the locals. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't barrack for port. Uh, St Kilda fans, don't, don't take it that way. That was just uh, straight to the boundary. That one over the boundary line again. The umpires take into account the, the wet weather. Does that make it a bit more lenient on that decision? Yeah, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> it was just wet, yeah, but he did kick it off the ground, straight out of bounds. <laughs> Let it go, you two. Let it go. Gresham's the one. Gresham's the one for the Saints. They need to get him involved. He's the one that can add that, that little bit of class forward of centre. He's around the stoppage at the moment. Nunes try to knock it on. Gray was strong after it. Boat, aim on. Now, interesting ball back through the middle of the ground. White and Savage after it. Savage controlled it pretty nicely. Well, and well, this well, one well, straight well, to the boundary well, line well. as well. Brown giving a big chase to try and get there. What will the call be? Oh, <laughs> oh, no. no. The crowd get their way. At least he had a little bit. What's going on? He's further out, that one. Have you got a mic to these umpires? Uh, What's going on here? No, that was... <laughs> so the first one not paid. The second one was... Kick forward. Stolen away here by Robbie Gray. Inside 50 go the power. Looking for Trengo. Great spoil. Away oh, by no. Carlisle. Oh, Trengo's yeah. asking the question for that one as well. Uh, it's unlikely to be paid. Come on. Is that, is that deliberate, Rue? I wouldn't have paid that one, and I would have paid the first one. The two but wrongs the, don't make a right. Oh, uh, well, that's... Yeah. It's the grey area in the game, isn't it? <laughs> Hit out down to the front of the pack. Good pick up by Dixon. Almost taken high. Boak. Shoving it back to White. Now Polek. Open it up off that left boot. The kick was smothered. Nicely done by Gresham. Tapped on by Ross. Around the body by Sinclair. And Hart little will juggle them up. Now he wants to go long. Back inside 50. West off the man there. Robinson was with him. Right up. It was an awkward bouncing ball for him. Wow. White. Good strong tackle. Wow. Almost high. Reward the player that gets in first for the football. Flying around here, the Port Adelaide forwards. They know there's, an, there's a free kick up for grabs. Savage. Out of defence. Back in there by Jonas. After it, Power Pepper trying to use his strength again. It's nicely done by Nunes just to hang on to him. Savage. Oh, he's coughed it up. That's what I'm talking about. you just got to have a little bit of representation. You know it's hot in there. It's going to come out, so yeah. you've got to have to be prepared. Dicko, on the back of that, I question the positioning of Bruce and Membry there. They need to come up and get involved. Yeah, they've got to squeeze right up and saturate because we know the condition's not suiting at the moment. Hartlett just set it up. Robert and goes oh. away. Gresham flipped about two years too early and has given away the free kick. Well, that's where Membry and Bruce need to be. A handball away. A play on for Polek. Goes wide. Aim on competing. Membry had the height. Nunes. Back for Membry. Under pressure from Cleary. Worked out of it, but the tackle lingered. Yeah, and the free kick's coming back to the Saints. Didn't have it there. This is all-time low kicking efficiency. Porter kicking at 
Uh, sorry, St Kilda 29, Port at 36 in the second quarter. I've never seen that before. Oh, and Bruce with a big leap. Couldn't hang on. Pollock had it knocked away. Pittard coughed it up. Billings read it nicely. And now on the move, not much to kick to for Akers. He's run down. Cleary there as well. Steele sliding in, dragged it back in. And got it over the line. And that is not enough intent to keep it alive either. I don't mind the idea of being a little bit firm on deliberate, if you want, or not, not doing enough showing the in. desire to keep it in. I like it. It's going to be that sort of day, so let's stick with it all day. Be route. consistent. Yes. <laughs> Robert and Hamilton Manbury. Knocked away by Sam Grace. Missed with the soccer off the ground. Here's Quick again. hands by Loney. And it's going to open up with the advantage paid. Webster waits for the run of Ross. He's got Bruce on long. And he's going to send it in that direction. Out the back, Josh Bruce waiting for it. He's crunched by two defenders. Oh. No free kick. Allowed to continue. And Clory goes short to Amor. Well, I love Ben Dixon's opinion on that. I just think the forward's got to charge back into the defender. That's there. what he should have done. Draw the free Absolutely. kick. Absolutely. Yeah. He needed to make body contact and take him out of it. But it was a better play by St Kilda. They created the width as this one's going to land on the head, boys. Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so a Come bit of a on. wayward one. I should have taken that Come one. On, it was Dick my opportunity. Yeah. Wet weather wasn't yeah. my go. No, it wasn't. But uh, they created some width. St Kilda just got away from it. That's what they've got to do because down the line's not quite working at the moment. They've got to find a way, get them Sells right into this. Oh, Robin will launch another attack. Looking for Membry in the front position. Good sport, Cleary. Burn Jones sees it over the line. See, just here, he's come at him falling banging. backwards. You've got to draw the free kick. You've got to draw the contact. He's unlucky not to get it in the end. No, he should, anyway. have held, should have held his ground or taken a chest mark. Or even jump early. Take the jump. Take the motor. Sounds like he did a lot wrong. <laughs> it's easy up here. <laughs> Longer. Down. Cleared by Ebert. Savage in from the side. Couldn't mark. Boak. Now Gray. Robbie Gray with a tumbling ball. He's looking for the pace of White, who's got plenty of that. Just needs the ball to sit for him. He wants to take them on. He burns around the boundary line. Trying to set up West off. He's tackled by Carlisle. The Cavalry arrived for the Saints, but it's not straight to Impey, who's slung back in the tackle and taken high. He did everything right there, Blake Akers. Followed up fantastic. They were outnumbered. Port had the extra forward. They were always going to score as he plays on. He steps around, snaps it back, works it back nicely. That Impey's kicked the goal. That composure in the heat of battle, Rue. Let's have a look at uh, White, who created it first with his speed. Just got it uh, rid of it before the boundary line. And then the tackle that just... Well, he yeah. got him by the jumper there. His horse collared him a little bit. Was it uh, too high? Not, well, it doesn't matter. The umpire paid it and he kicked a good goal. First goal for the second quarter at Port Adelaide. MP. His first disposal for the second quarter. So the power certainly worked their way on top. Out of the middle, Longer and Gray were desperate after it. And yeah. Longer's legs were taken out by Robbie Gray. Good call from the umpire, 50 metres from the, the action. Players were unsure which way the free kick was going. Steele takes it. That's intercepted by Jonas. Milestone game for Tom Jonas today, playing his 100th. Out wide for Pollock, who's been busy. In board for Ebert, who's almost always busy. Bouncing ball up the wing for Tringo. The two Saints players collide, and again, a sliding free kick paid. It's coming back to Jaron Geary. The long is a little bit sore after that last contest. The skipper was the one that actually made the contact. Long to half forward. Oh. Bambry, what a mark in the wet. Stepped off his line. So he has to go, Good chips kick. it in short. Steele takes it quickly, long to the top of the square. Billings in from the side. Out the back, Gresham was waiting for it. Gee, that was an opportunity for Billings to come across the front and take a mark there. He did the hard work, just couldn't quite complete it. Would like a goal here, St Kilda, just to keep in touch. Pittard long, right up. Nicely taken. And it will be 50 as well. So 
that just releases the pressure. And look at Dixon charge. He's putting Carlisle to the sword here. He's just got 15 metres on him. Trying to tire him out. Got the matchups they want forward of centre now. And Ryder spots a man free at half forward, but Membry just got a hand in there. Ebert's still able to collect. And he turns it over. Sinclair. Oh. McKenzie. He's turned it over as well. It was nicely done by Wines. It was like a bull to get through there. Gray. Couldn't spin out of a tackle. Now back with White, who just blazes up the wing, and there's nobody there for the Saints. Plenty of time for Hopsch to collect. And go in short to Broadbent. King, you spoke about uh, Bruce and Membry getting in the right positions. They need to do that when the ball goes into their back line because otherwise they've got no options when they're coming out. And we just saw there Port Adelaide having two or three players on their own again. That's happened a couple of times so far this afternoon. Bruce now doing some ruck work. Close to Ryder. Ryder, the hit out down. You'd expect him to win that, given the season he's having. Acres after it. Steal. Up for McKenzie. Bundled over the line. Especially without Nick Revolt up there yeah. uh, as well. So oh, no, leadership's no. got to be required oh, no. by uh, the next uh, most experienced forwards just to get the balance right, the positioning right, so they can compete when there's a scrap kick out of defensive 50. And the power by a couple of goals. Sinclair gave it to Jack Stephen, but he was pulled off his kick. The power able to win it back, and Boat goes wide, but Robert and recovers well. Thank you. Good opportunity. Switch the play, get their numbers over this side of the ground, because uh, like uh, we've seen a number of times, long bombs down the line, and Port just send it straight back in. He went straight back to the congestion, did Robert and Jonas had it a long time before finally getting a kick away. Bruce to White. Now Stephen. Back for Robert. And. Another long kick up the line. Bouncing ball. Pitta got rid of his man. Membry up to meet it, showing some strength. And he releases Billings. Now on the fly go the Saints up to the 50. Loney can take it and go. Unguarded goal square. He keeps it low. But it was always wide well, and just to behind. I, I thought it was a bad kick, Rue. If he kicks that straight to goal, just let him run onto it. Just let him charge back to the goal square. Like for like in terms of pace. Always oh, back my smalls. My yep. smalls going goalwards. Yeah, to, to do the job. I guess he thought he could just kick it, but it was much better set up across half forward, and that's why they got it down there to have a shot on goal. One on ones across the half forward line, and they won the battle. Still the Saints only goal scorer, Jack Loney. Now Savage. It's a good battle. It's a really good game. It's really tight. Every contest meaning something. Savage sends them forward again. Bruce floating in from the oh. side. Hands to it again. Couldn't hang on. Broadbent ran into trouble, and he's gone. Wow, was that a tackle, or was he knocked it out of his hands? Was it tackle? He tackled it? him. Yeah, he almost put the chins together. No, right, we'll have a look. Yeah, I thought it was fantastic. Uh, gee, they've Bruce. had a couple of uh, opportunities in the air, the Saints, and it's very tough. Let's have a look at this. Chin to chin. I reckon he handballed it straight into him. Anyway, they've had a couple of opportunities to take a pluck, but it's very hard conditions to do it. They have been inaccurate, the Saints. Goal five to their name so far with a couple of rushed Billings trying to career, correct that. It's pretty close, but it's across the face and yet another miss. Yeah, well, that's the same amount of scoring okay. shots now. Three, four equals seven, and one, six equals seven. So just got to kick straight. Uh. Pitta taking the game on. Oh. <laughs> Dangerous stuff, but he did it nicely. The umpire yeah. put the whistle to his mouth there. <laughs> he ran about 25 metres. He broke the lines, but Port didn't have anything forward in the end. Here's White. We'll switch things up for St Kilda. Jack Stephen. The St Kilda forwards are not coming at the ball carrier anymore. They're not presenting. They're hovering back. If you can see inside forward 50 now, there are five St Kilda forwards staying at home. That's right. Port Adelaide are guarding that middle ground. There's no connecting players. Nunes with a driving ball inside 50. It's 2-2 two, two on one. Ross waiting down for it. Trapped it. Got it back to Dunstan. Who goes wide into the pocket looking for a target? Bruce there, hands to it once, twice. Not the third time. You're, you're spot on, Kingy, though. They, they need to be going to the source and then away towards the goal because they're not engaging their defenders in any way, the St Kilda forward. So, got to try something different. They're getting back and just clogging it up. So, St Kilda have been heaping on some pressure. 
in the last few minutes. Not getting a reward just yet. Dunstan created some space, got it across to Sinclair, who snaps. Another miss. Oh, 12, 12 inside, 50s to 10 for the quarter now for St Kilda. Just the four points to show for it. Port it's Adelaide got one goal one. It's contagious. Once you start missing, it just permeates through the team, doesn't it? <laughs> Port Adelaide were doing the same thing at the start of the first quarter and then got a couple late. Can the Saints do it here in the second? Oh, Burnt Jones kicking into the man who is guarding the mark. It's good work by Membry yeah, to well lock done. it in there, Ford 50. Well yeah. done from Membry there. The little things will start to build. You've just got to find a way to stay in. They're in touch, nine points. You can just see there the inside 50 targets. Bruce has been targeted seven times. He's got his hands to about two or three that really... Maybe it's a fraction wet down there. Maybe being a bit too harsh, but he's had, he's had opportunities. Down for Dunstan. They couldn't break the tackle of West off, and he's gone. They just need to start getting bang for buck a little bit. I know the trying conditions, but the time in forward half, the Saints are well on top in that area. Normally, when you travel here, they get dominated by Port Adelaide as we see another turnover. It's happened twice in a row from the yeah. power trying to kick from that spot. Kicking into the man guarding the mark. Well, that, it'll stay at the St Kilda half forward line again. They are kicking at 42% for the whole game, Port Adelaide. That is very, very low. Not good enough. I mean, you can't you can't excuse kicking on the, the man on the mark, no matter what the conditions are. St Kilda building. Oh, Ryder, what a hit out down to Wines. Perfect ruck work. White after it. McKenzie in there as well. Desperation from Amon. Gresham heard the voice of Ross and has knocked it that way. In the end, Robbie Gray sees it over the boundary line. Love the work of McKenzie so far. Just getting in, just spearing in. No fear for his own safety at the moment. I think that was a good late call, uh, dropping the big man Marshall and bringing in another small in these conditions, Kingy. And yep. Bruce can do the ruck work. Yep. Marshall ruck. standing 201 centimetres. McKenzie at 184. Just give them a bit more run. Here's Dunstan. He's been busy in this second quarter. Looks to kick back to half forward through the hands of Clurie. Billings was there as well. As Loney's bundled over the line. I'd like to see the Saints continue. When they arced out of that last stoppage and they had, they had the ability to run and carry the ball, I'd like to see them take that yardage. You've still got to carry the ball in the wet. You just can't allow your kicking to be everything. If you can, you need to get it over that next line, over that next bunch of players. Longer got the hit out over the back. Pollock winds involved. Membry, though, gets it now back for Ross. And Kilda inside, 50 again. Bouncing ball. Burn Jones hit it with pace. It wasn't the most conventional kick, but Port Adelaide will get out of danger. High ball back up the wing. Pal Pepper, the target, had it knocked away. Wines was waiting to collect. Now Pollock for Ebert. Not much to kick too forward. He took his time. And as a result, the kick was affected from the pressure. Carlo, Geary. And he plays us up the wing straight to Ryder. Wants to get it moving. Here's Impey. Unsure where to go. Archers the back. Creates some room. Broad bent. He's got some numbers wide. Kick makes Jonas chase. Got time to get there. Drills it in low. And sliding in. Trengo. Tough one to take. Covered, got it up to Sam Gray, who's held without it. Yeah, he's held without it, made sure the umpire saw it. Jackson Trengo is doing some work here. Carlisle's choosing when to go with him and when to release. And they're doing a power of running for key post players. Gray, didn't think he had the distance, so it's to Robbie Gray instead. Now, that is body use. Compared to what we saw at the other end by Bruce, that was amazing body work. Robbie Gray in the pocket. That's, Stay out from behind the mark. That's, oh, yeah. Been under pressure in this second quarter in the last 10 minutes. The power. Well, they can go up the other end and Robbie Gray can snap. And he's missed across the face. That would have really hurt the Saints if he'd been able to convert. Yeah, would it have? It would have been against the flow. And that's what happens sometimes when you kick a lot of points and dominate the play and don't capitalise. It goes down the other end and for a goal. Approaching half time at the Adelaide Oval. Long ball out of defence and Burn Jones with the sticky hands and wants to get it going quickly towards the top of the square. Robbie Gray, too many to beat and Webster gets back. Certainly doing a lot right, the Saints. Uh, it's just the scoreboard pressure that's letting him down at the moment. Well, the advantage was taken. Dunstan wide. 
to Sinclair. Sinclair chips it in short. Billings worked hard, but a kick missed the target. Hartland spinning nicely out of a tackle. And he shows too much of it to White, who yeah. stretches too. This is better. Bit of run and carry. Doesn't have to be a kick every time. And looking to get the ball moving. St Kilda, Webster to Carlisle to steal. Now they've got a free man in Weller at half forward. Got an overlap. Over the top to Ross. Now looking for an option. Dangerous ball to the top of the square. Bruce the target again. Knocked down. Billings was waiting. Accepts the footy and snaps another yeah. behind. They have wasted some opportunities, the Saints. Have they ever? They did every single thing right except for the shot on goal. Bruce provided a, 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 an aerial contest. He was outnumbered. He brought it to the ground. And then uh, the little fellas are just not doing their job at the moment. A couple of behinds now for Billings. This one sent out to half back. And Trengo is in they have been peppering away. Have some killed up. Now the power trying to go up the wing. That was so close yeah. to Westhoff knocking that through. You've just got to kick that goal. Go, you, you just have to snap that. I mean, seriously, you're 15 metres out. It's 9 out of 10 stuff. You're a left footer. Really? Five points for the quarter for St Kilda. No goals. Longer. The hit out down to Nunes. Pollock kept it moving his team's way. Back in under Ryder again is McKenzie. Driven into the turf by Power Pepper. And what St Kilda have evened up the contested possessions where they were badly beaten in the first quarter. They've also won the clearances 10 to 6 as well. They had more inside 50s, but they've lost on the scoreboard. Amos kick smothered. Ebit after it. Ross on his backside able to get it up to Longer. Could be crucial. Steal to half forward and Sinclair out to meet it. And he's got some support. Wheeler going one way. Jack Stephen the other. Had a quiet afternoon so far. He sends it long, but it's off target. Oh. Bruce co collides with the behind post. And Membry helps himself and kicks the goal. Well, we're going to have a look, you'd expect. Well, Bruce back to his feet. Did the ball hit the point post? It has to have, doesn't it? I think it was his chin that hit the point post. I don't know. If it was Bruce or the ball. The ball has to have, doesn't it? Bruce had it. Can't tell from there. But it looks like it has ricocheted off so the post. If it's in his control and he hits the post, is that out of bounds? No. I think they're looking that his right hand was behind the ball, so... It's play on, is it? If you if you, if the arm's in between it and the post... It's play on. It's in the, it's, the ball's in the ground, isn't it? You sure? Well, not really, but I think so. <laughs> <laughs> don't, be so don't be so honest. I think you'll find this a throw-in. Well, the original call was a goal, wasn't I'll it? I'll go a goal. So it has to be conclusive. Well, it's conclusive. To turn it over. No, no he said, did the ball hit the post? I think you'll find that the ball... Well, I think his hand can hit the post, but the ball can't, and it's in play. Yeah. We'll get some people who've got a better idea on the game. Yeah, <laughs> but these are rules that you never even <laughs> think about. Well, Lee Matthews would have snapped that post for one. <laughs> well, the players are getting ready for a boundary throw-in, so I think... They're thinking. No, that, 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 but that's because if it's a goal, they'll go back to the middle. So they're, they're doing the, the only thing they can do. We wait for the review. Umpire's call. Umpire's call stays. The original call was a goal. And that's the one St Kilda were looking for. It comes in unusual circumstances. Don't you know the rules, Kingy? No, I don't. Kingy, <laughs> come on. I, I've got no, no that's, idea. That's, well, a, that's, that's a difficult one. That's it? section 32-4. Dash uh, That's in play. Well... Because he would have, would have been a mark otherwise. He wasn't not in control. He dropped it because he hit the post. So it's play on. Yeah. And umpire's call. Cool. Mm. Check that during the week. Much needed goal there for the Saints. And uh, they've had a good run. And finally hit the, uh, hit the big sticks. Right, out of the middle, Port Adelaide. Now, Amon trying to use his pace to get away. Good tackling pressure again. Savage able to send it in short. Stephen. Handball oh. just missing Webster. That's right. Flicked that back pretty quickly. White. A tumbling ball through the middle. Waiting for it. Nunes. Shrugs the tackler. Robbie Gray. Willer. And he's lost it out to Pal Pepper, who's turned it straight over to Steele. And St Kilda can go forward again. Savage with a high ball. Better. Bruce has recovered. 
My tangle up, spills out the back. Bruce recovered the best. He shoved off it by Pittard. Memory was waiting for it again, but it didn't find its way through. And Amon will go short to Young. It's just starting to overlap now, the Saints. It's starting to link with a couple of handballs. Starting to get on the outside of Port Adelaide, and it's causing some concerns. He some... tried to use his body there, Bruce, but he just didn't quite get it right. But, gee, they've been under the pump here, Port Adelaide, for most of this second quarter. Uh, St Kilda have really had, had a lot of the ball and a lot of the ball inside 50. A long ball up the wing again. Longer able to knock it down. McKenzie cross to Savage. High ball back inside 50. Again, Bruce with three to beat. And it's going to be a free oh, kick to the power. He's having, a, he's having a horrible run, Josh Bruce. But I'll tell you what, his competitive instincts well, have to be admired, don't they? He's giving a great contest down there. Port Adelaide are lucky to get out of this quarter the way they have. And a kick misses both, but that will do us for the first half here at the Adelaide Oval. The, the locals aren't happy with that late goal to St Kilda, but it doesn't mean, it does mean that we've got a real game on our hands. Plenty on the line, and it is Port Adelaide leading by three points at half-time. Sandy Roberts, certainly looking forward to a big second half. Yeah, we certainly are, Adam. And the Saints have been missing some opportunities so far in the game. Huge second half here at the Adelaide Oval, and the Saints trying to get the first clearance. Ebert got there first, but off the deck, Jack Stephen to half forward. Jonas sliding in. Akers kept his feet. Aitmon arriving on the scene. Knocks it back towards Pittard. And he keeps it alive nicely. Robbie Gray up over the head of White. St Kilda have the numbers. Webster if it stays in for him. We go back for Geary. Back for Webster. Worked the one-two nicely though. The kick intercepted. Knocked down by Ebert. Hartlett to Robbie Gray and now Ryder. Gray up the ground. So it's a bit of a change. Just even with that kick there for the Saints, still taking the risk. So I think the first half, uh, the Port didn't take enough risk with their ball movement. So as we see 50 metres here, I think uh, you'll see them just take it on a little bit more in this quarter. They flirted with paying the 50, but Dixon just paid the mark. Ball kick long inside 50. Carlisle, the big one-handed spoil. Ross, though, snatched at it, left it behind. Great pick up by Sam Gray. Back for Wines, looking for a target. Pollock. Oh. Ross would be filthy with himself for fumbling that ball. Was in the right position, just had to get hold of the ball and get the ball out of there. Caused a turnover. It probably wasn't Membry's greatest effort in the marking contest either. You just can't fumble in the modern game. You get swallowed up, you get one opportunity. Well, Pollock's going to go back and slot it and make him pay. This would be a dream start for the power to the second half, but he puts it through. Well, you can just see, you can just see the, the despair on that young man's face. As you can see the ball come in. It's an easy fumble. You can see here, he's got his head over the ball. He's coming in to, to take possession. No, sorry, he's in the middle here. The ball gets squirted in. It's an easy one, Rue, but he just doesn't make mark in the mark contest. Remember, he doesn't make contest. It's a disappointing result for the Saints. A really bad start to the third term. Big start for Port Adelaide. This is a huge second half for both clubs. But Port Adelaide really want to grab the opportunity to get back into the top four with a win here. Pollock finding plenty of the footy as well this afternoon. Ryder down to Wines. Textbook out of the middle. But Carlisle having to intercept. Yeah, he's a good reader of the play, Carlisle. Saints want to switch. Robert has to be good with a kick. And he found Dunstan who got a shove as he took the mark, and a 50-minute penalty as well. So the late push on Dunstan. Not a heap in it. Wasn't all that late from Ebert, but he had control of the footy. Ball kicked in towards Longer, off his hands. It spills to Stephen. Looping handball wide, set Billings a task. He was buried into the turf by Hartland. Nicely done by Westhoff. Releasing now Robbie Gray. Gee, great vision to see a couple of runners out wide. And one of them is White. He'll want the block from Boat to try and use his speed. He sees Dixon presenting nicely. And he marks it 60 from goal. It was an open forward line. The crowd urging him to keep it moving. He goes short into the pocket. 
Maybe stood tall, just couldn't hang on. Boke involved again, but ripped away by Dunstan. His kick towards Robert, who just was fumbling and trying to find the football. Pittard attacked it. Handball intercepted by Steele. Shrugged the first tackle of Westhoff. Now wanted a free kick. Savage, Robertin, up the wing. Bruce sliding in, it hit the turf. Up by waving play on. And we'll get a ball up. Spoke about their positioning at half time and they were all one on one there. St Kilda, the St Kilda Ford's got the balance right and caused the stoppage. Port crowd on edge a little bit here, Kingy. They know that uh, yep. they've dropped a couple at home this year and they cannot afford to drop this one tonight. Dunstan under the pack. Did he drag it back in? Yes, he did. Yeah, and they are going after them. Yeah, Robbie Gray's leading the charge here in this early stage of the third term, but they're getting really good hunt at the ball, the contested ball, and at the player at the moment. So Wines just kick it as far as he can. Inside 50. Robinson was in front, was knocked down. Webster swings a kick out of defence. It's all put Adelaide, though, really. Jonas had the support of Clory. Hartlett ran into his own teammate, slipped over and turned it over. Steele, clean pickup, releasing Akers. Now some running support from Billings. Still not much forward, oh. but he got back to Akers. It was nicely oh. done to find a way through, but wasn't clever to give it to Weller. And now Clury on the counter-attack. The power can go back the other way. Sam Gray, long in the west, off direction. Carlo wasn't looking at the footy. Geary across, had to make the spoil. Now back to Carlo, who's tackled over the line. Just butchered that one, St. Kuna. Weren't good enough, really, at the end of the day, to transition the ball. Just a, that was that first handball was hard enough. That was a ridiculous handball, really, and just not good enough to maximise the ball going forward. Alan, Alan Richardson for Phil, not happy at all. Ryder, another clean hit out down. Steele spinning out of one tackle, but he's taken away by Robbie Gray. Now Polek, high ball, Dixon down there. Three Saints go for it, and Robertson recovered the best. Trying to stand up back there in defence. A long kick back through the middle. Bruce got a tough bounce. Bopsh. Pittard. And now Hartlett. I just think for St Kilda, they've got to create even numbers on the exit here. They're just gifting the ball back, 70-80 from goal. And we're going to see repeat entry after repeat entry from Port Adelaide. And eventually pressure will tell. Pollock Need to do something. Short into White. Well, this is going to take a very, very good kick from here, Matty Whitey. He's had kick goal of the year before, but that was on the run. This will be a huge kick for him. And Matt White loads up from right on the paint of 50. Now he chips it in short, looking for the set play. Dixon was arriving late. Certainly made Carlisle learn the spoil. Bit of miscommunication there between teammates for Port Adelaide. This is the problem. You're exhausting numbers deep in your defensive 50. There's no options really to go to except for long down the line. Good Ross mark. Goes to Bruce, who has been the target most of the evening for the Saints. Now up to Akers, who presents. Just couldn't hang on. Still inside the line. Loney. Spun in the tackle, but got it back to Akers. Now he's got some support. Sinclair for Ross. Now long A, or what the one, two. And it opens it up for Seb Ross. The short ball to Dunstan. Secure to building. The long kick inside, 50. Wasn't to the advantage of Membry. Coming across, Clurry took the ball and the man out of the play. Sam Gray after it. Geary put his head over it. Spills it across to Membry, who snaps. And it was always going to be tough to bring it back from there. In fact, he's kicked it out on the foot. They've got the right idea, St Kilda, the way they use the handball to get into the middle of the ground. They've got to start doing that. Did it the first half a little bit, but uh, more of that's going to get them right back into this. this Port seem to be playing the more composed brand. St Kilda rushing a fraction. Clurry long. Robert in a good spoil. Right after it. Slapped it back to McKenzie. And he's gone straight to the boundary line. Boundary throw in. Drew, you're our expert on insufficient intent. Close. <laughs> <laughs> the boundary line 
throw in the result. Ryder slipped over initially in the ruck, then got to the front. Polek knocked it though to Akers. Longer try to slap it on again. Back over the boundary line. You just see they've gone six on six forward of, of the ball at both ends now. So this is this, these these clearances are going to be critical. Robbie Gray on ball at the moment. He's standing by himself, which is uh, amazing as Akers now makes his way over to him. Yep. So Kilda haven't beaten Port Adelaide for six years. They haven't had a win on the Adelaide Oval. Oh. And they're in the middle of a tight contest at the moment. And Port Adelaide emerged from that stoppage. High ball by Sinclair back up the boundary line. Just touched off hands. Charlie Dixon getting some patchwork done. Just trying to make him earn it, as they say, Rube. Yep. Yeah, he's been good all year, putting a lot of pressure on Charlie up forward. Trengove in the ruck now, the riders come off the ground. Longer in front, able to knock it down to McKenzie. Leave it. Worried him out of it. Tringo off the deck. Pick up by Webster. Robin and look away. Hamble to Akers. Now some space for Jack Stephen to try and set something up. He went with a barrel. Inside 50. <laughs> it was unconventional, but Memory's going to get a free kick. Advantage paid. Here's Gresham snapping towards goal. Why? I'm not sure if there really was any advantage there because they've just kicked another behind. Well, that's, dare I say it, selfish and, and silly and low percentage by St Kilda. They had a shot on goal from a set shot. Do you blame Steele or do you blame Gresham? Well, whoever was in control of the ball when they called play on. Two goals, nine for the, the game. Oh. For St Kilda, that's a solid mark taken by Carlo. They need to get some reward for effort, the Saints. Here's Ross. Oh. Power back in big numbers. Ross just tries to set it up again. Well up, sandwich between a couple. Jonas taking a ground. Good tackle by Gresham. Important stoppage, this one for the Saints. They desperately need a goal. Longer should have the advantage. Knocks it down. Stephen. Is he taken high by Powell Pepper? Ross's handball was slick over the shoulder. And then McKenzie's quick snap. Doesn't even register a score. Well, they've had more shots on goal, just in scoring shots. Let's have a look at this. Was this high? Well, they've, they've actually paid less than that today, but whether that uh, deserves a free kick or not, it's probably 50-50. They've missed a few out in the fall, and they've kicked 2-9. Hartlett too easily walks it out of defence. Long up towards Dixon. Wines had a crash in as well. Good recovery from Dixon at ground level, but Pollock's handball knocked down. Nicely done by McKenzie. Goal umpire showing all the talents as well. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. like it. Decent purchase. No handball in the wet too much. <laughs> what you didn't see was that went straight back into the ball bin. <laughs> Longer knocking it down. Ooh. Hard at it was Robbie Gray. There's a bit of kicking in danger as well. What a pick up by Dixon. And it really opens it up for the power. Amon with a high kick. Impey trying to get back. One on one with Webster. Bouncing ball. Webster loses his feet. It opens the door for Impey. In the pocket one way, then the other. Slips the tackle. Decides not to have the shot. Not 15 the call. Westhoff has to go. Oh. And now holding the ball. I reckon he was going to pay over the shoulder. I reckon he put his whistle to the mouth that he was going to pay it. Decided not to. A lot of 50-50s in these conditions. You mean, Crowd was never going to like it. You mean hot on the umpires? <laughs> no, I'm saying it's a hard one. It was a hard decision. Impy was almost a way to have the shot. Tried to do the team Let's have thing. a look. Oh, oh, I tell you what, I think it might have been there. Nunes' arm slipping high. And Bruce takes a nice mark. The game lifting. Here's Ross off half back for the Saints. Through the middle for Stephen. He's got some runners out wide. They're in plenty of space. And out here, if McKenzie hits the target, Gresham creeping forward. Missed a shot a few moments ago. Steadies keeps it low and misses again. They cannot buy a goal at the moment, the Saints. Well, this could cost them a finals chance, at least. If they lose this game from inaccurate goal kicking, they'll be filthy. 
Huge opportunity. Goes begging again. The power out of defence. White made the contest, knocked it down. McKenzie creatively high to the top of the square. A lot of bodies colliding. Bruce takes possession and loses it. Oh. Jonas under pressure. That is a dangerous kick out of defence, but he somehow finds the line. Well, you've got to maintain energy, and this is where the senior core are so important. They've got to get to a Grisham, get to a Loney, get to these small forwards. Hey, keep going. Keep going. They're getting shots. It's going to come. It'll turn. Gee. Not working at the moment, but you've got to stay alive. On the road, it's, it's you know, conversion. Under the pump asset. here, Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide need to win as well. They could not afford to drop this. No. Pal Pepper scrambling after the footy. You, Another you, ball up. It, you'd think it's only a matter of time before St Kilda start kicking goals. You can't keep kicking points. Well, the handball is actually really starting to threaten. Well, Bruce has taken a couple of grabs as well, so... Ross. Stephen now well up. Close down by Broadbent. He flicked it back over his head looking for Stephen. Pal Pepper was strong. And he just gained some territory. Back through the middle of the ground. Here's where Robbie Gray can be dangerous. Slick handball across to Boak. He's got Tringo further afield. Ambitious to take the bounce there. Didn't come back to him. And Geary can go wide. Ross. Oh. Tackle by Impey and lost it. Holding the ball. Great chase. He thought he was clear. An advantage paid and taken. Wines up to the 50. Bouncing ball for Tringo. Well played Carlisle. Back for Wines who followed up. And straight to the line. Made a meal of that, Port Adelaide. How Made good a Carlisle. real meal of it. How good Carlisle there. Yep. Two, three. Just trying Efforts. to be too cute as well. Just the kick over the top of the space. It been under siege in the St Kilda forward line. Just get it down into your forward line. Lock it in. Carlisle's only had eight disposals, but he's had eight good disposals. Getting his body in the right place. Dunstan for Ross. High ball to get underneath. Cluria, good spoil. Still thinking this third term, St Kilda's ability to get the game on the outside. They've had 27 kicks, 34 handballs. Now, in these conditions, you'd normally say, get yardage, get meterage, get the ball forward, play it in your half. But their overlap game is, is what's creating scoring opportunities. They just haven't taken them. Long it down, the throat though of Ebert. It was tackled nicely by Dunstan. And Spills, Nunes, Akers, McKenzie on the burst through the middle of the ground. Long kick in the memory direction in the one on one. Flurry! Oh, what a mark! Wow. Well, just out of that stoppage, St Kilda's shape. Richo touched on a quarter time. They're dominating that area at clearances. Ebert waits for the runner, Polek, but didn't favour his right side there with the handball. And over the line. What an important mark by Cleary there. That would have, if they marked that, let's have a look at that. Was, this was a great kick first by McKenzie. Memory had every right to take that mark. Cleary, sensational. Brilliant. You're going to have to do some work with St Kilda forwards on drawing free kicks. <laughs> Running back into the defender. Well, that, that was a bit... Uh, Oh, then that, oh, go out, Shane. Close there, Rizzo. Took the chest mark there and hardly went over the line. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Rizonico, former Collingwood champion. He did take Stewart down there. He <laughs> showed the power. Still wants to get his hands on the young end. A long kick <laughs> down the line. After it, loading. Oh. Does he take it high? No whistle. Looked like it, didn't it? Let's have a look at that one when we get a chance. Get that looked high. Burn Jones is having go. a few Jack. words. Jack. Tensions have just been bubbling through most of the evening. Uh, might have been the right call. Started low, drifted a little high. He's young. Tackled and taken to ground. Jack Steele tackling again. Only where you see him. Good body work by Ryder in the ruck. Down for Westhoff. Aim on, fumble, oh, then was taken high by Will. That is that conceding position when the head's over the ball. You, there's no point giving away the free. Either let him get it or tackle him, Let it then tackle him, or you put your hands around the body so you don't give the free kick. Just releases all the pressure. And aim on can send it up the line. Ball off hands. Let's have a look at uh, Paul Rizonico here on the boundary line. He just leans over and then he goes... Oh. Just, but he nearly in. Yeah. <laughs> Umpire nearly paid the mark. Oh, look at him. He doesn't know whether he should have done that. Yeah, if he disappointed, he dropped it as well. Yeah. If he took one more step, he would have counted as an interchange. Would have been an uncontested <laughs> mark. Bruce 
After it, even in there, scrapping for the football rider with strength. Able to rip it out, get it to Lyons. He's crunched heavily, we got the handle across. Dixon will send the power inside 50. He loads up with a long shot into the pocket. Sam Gray was there, neither of them got at it. And it goes through for a Bahama. That really would have hurt the Saints. Port Adelaide had been able to kick a goal. As it stands, it's a nine-point advantage to the home team. It just feels like St Kilda have had more chances here. Port Adelaide are in front by nine points, but... Free kick coming back to Billings. It's been a funny game, King, a real funny game. We feel like we've been talking about St Kilda all the time, and that's just because they feel like they've had more opportunities. and. But both sides, in their own way, have been tentative. Saints around goal have looked apprehensive, unsure of themselves. And Port Adelaide just put some speed into the game. Just start running and carrying again. Two free kicks in a row to the Saints. Bruce is being held. While Pittard took the mark for Port Adelaide. Now they go deep inside 50 again. Sinclair's got three to beat there. Gee. Three power players up. Saints didn't have anyone. Had the fall again. Loney scrapping for it. Ross shoveled it out. Dunstan fumbled. Steele trying to find some room. He rocketed the handball back yes. to McKenzie. There was too much on it. And now a sliding free kick. It goes to the Saints. Advantage taken again. Dunstan to Ross. Lays it into the pocket. Another miss. Why would you do that when you've got a free kick inside 50s? This is the free from before with Hartlett holding on to Bruce. Looked like it was there, but St Kilda choosing to play on inside 50s when free kicks have been paid. I'm not sure that's the right option. Two goals, 11 for St Kilda in the game so far. Our last for scoring accuracy coming into this round. It's gotten a whole lot worse. Here's Dunstan twisting and turning on the 50, and finally they find a mark inside 50, and Bruce can go back with the shot. Well, he had a couple of shots like this in the first quarter, King, and couldn't <laughs> ma maximise. We did try and... Uh, scab a couple of metres there on the mark. But <laughs> I'm just happy that no one can take the advantage. He actually has to oh, go yeah. back and have the shot. That's because right. They just need a settler, don't they? I mean, this has been a, a great battle. Port Adelaide had been holding up so diligently in that back six. But this is a must for Secunda. Huge kick. You can see they've been peppering away the Saints all afternoon. Oh. Josh Bruce. Uh, that's a poor shot on goal in the end. It only just sneaks in for a point. Gee whiz. He's kicked three points today, Bruce. No goals. Power by seven. And I can thank that wayward kicking for the lead that they've got at the moment. Gresham's kicked two points, no goals. Hartlett played on. Didn't really give himself any advantage. Broadbent's kick knocked down. Jonas, long out of defence. That was a good option oh. because Impey was presenting and taking a strong mark. Super mark in these conditions. Played a good game, Jarman Impey. You got a short into Hartland. Ben, ben Dixon, if you can, Hinkley, what are you looking to do? What changes can you make? Well, you've just got to be more aggressive, Key. You see here they come out to the open side. And look at the space they've got for a forward entry. This is what he spoke about at half time. Be bold. Uh, they were bold, but they kicked it straight to Carlisle with the last kick inside 50. Opportunity wasted there for the power. Long kick back in. Power Pepper straight off the interchange. And got his hands on that. Pitta. Amon. Back for Pow Pepper. The fresh legs as he wobbles a kick into the pocket. No one waiting there except Carlisle, who oh. didn't complete the mark. He's called the play on. He's gone. He sits on it. Well, I think you're going to give him the better for the doubt there. If he thought he took the mark, what? Oh, what happened here? Great slips catch. He's had nine oh, disposals. Oh, need him in the head there, Jackson. Whether... Like an accident, but need him in the side of the head. Ryder down for Polek. Left the ball behind. Jeez. Saints go off the ground at the slow percentage because Burn Jones is intercepted. And he goes back into that oh. forward pocket, straight to Carlisle again. He's like a magnet down there. I'll hit you with something, King, here. So if you're Alan Richardson, you've got the momentum. You're getting the shots on goal, but you're not kicking them. Do you take Carlisle out of the back line, who's been very good down there? Put him forward and put Bruce back, or do you just keep it as it is and hope the tide will turn or the, the goals will come? It's a big decision to make. I'd be going to others before before moving Carlisle. Ball kicked away, and it lands in the lap of Sam Gray, who will pass it off, and then he spots Young. Yeah, big goal here for Aaron Young. 
yet, yet to hit the scoreboard today, and this is a fair way out in these conditions. Going to get some tools on the line here, St Kilda. This is what hurts you the most. You go down and you can't score a goal, and the opposition get their opportunity. 34 touches in the sample last week to get his spot back in the side. Big pack of players. Dixon down there. Trengo! Trengo in the pack, waiting down. Snaps a final goal for Port Adelaide. Well, they're claiming they touched it. Listen, yeah. AFL players can be very dishonest at times, perhaps, and let's not give up. <laughs> let's not go either way here, but... Reckons hit the post. Post. You're not going to yeah. see that from there. Post. Oh. oh. Man. Looked like it missed. We should have like a vibrating machine on there to see if it's moving. Now it bails. Some sort of sensor just to tell think whether the ball hits the post. I think you mean snicker. <laughs> snicker, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. Probably best we go with snicker. <laughs> a tough one to tell this. So we'll I think wait. Jackson will get well, a goal. That's, that's off Carlisle. So he needed to get something to, to happen for him. There's a review, and the goal counts. Big boy landed by the power. Well, that's a big goal for Port Adelaide. Puts a bit of a gap in there, 13 points. Well done to Jackson Trang. I've been talking a hell of a lot about Carlisle and the role that he's played. And let's have a look how this goes, because Carlisle's the one right at the back. And track. Jackson didn't even jump for it. He went to the front to crumb. Well, he, he did get blocked out, but they're calling for touch first. Well done to Big Jackson. Ran straight into the middle of the ground now to contest the ruck. Well, seven of the last ten scores have been behind. So we've broken the drought. One of the teams has finally got it through the big sticks. And the power. Are we looking for another one? As we head to three-quarter time, St Kilda desperate to try and find a goal. And his broad bet intercepting. This is better from Port Adelaide. You've got to come wide. You've got to spread St Kilda a little bit. Even if you just take possession, tip it round as best you possibly can. Just got to frustrate them a little bit and control play. Hartlett. Down the line. Looking for Dixon. Too wide, though. Out of bounds on the full. Times for both teams today. Just flirting too close to the line and sending it over. So position back to St Kilda. We have to pay credit to how organised the back six has been for Port. I mean, they've been under siege today, haven't they? Well, they've been under siege, but they've had a few shots on goal against them. Long out. Oh. The end. Trengo's going to be paid the mark. Blake, Blake, back here. Crashing into the pack. So a good couple of minutes for Jackson Tringo. Might wonder half forward. Dixon in the one on one. Carlo with the spoil. Wines with the knock on. Up to the 50, but Ross will recover. Now Dunstan dangerously back across the face of goals. Webster presenting. Oh. Had to wait for it to oh. bounce. It was in dispute. White went hard. Webster went over the top of him. Good pressure by Port Adelaide. And White goes back in to win it again. Almost got a push in the back from Webster. Locks it up. But a great effort there by Matt White. Just getting back to your point earlier about what changes you could make at either end. I'd be prepared to put a small midfielder at full forward. Jack Stephen hasn't had his best day. I'd put him there. See if he can get some speed in that forward line just to create something different. Might be a different matchup. Oh, the Port fans are going to be not happy with that because they thought it was in the back prior. Well, I think at three-quarter time, they're going to have to do something different. Light ball in the Bruce direction. Here's a are attracted to him, and then Akers could get out the back. Not much inside 50, so he has to wait for the running support. McKenzie getting back there. Sam Gray had to spoil, and the smaller man did a great job. Polek to Pittard. And a defence again, and Robbie Gray, what a one-handed mark. He's a freak. And now through the middle of the ground, Pal Pepper. He wants to keep it going. Held up. Long to half forward, right of best position. Run right by Brown. The Pokes still in the contest. A high one into the pocket. Westhoff looking to leap at Carlisle, and that should be a mark. He spoils it up and then completed it. He's unbelievable. 
He is unbelievable, this guy. He's had 10 touches for the day, 50 metre penalty. He's had 10 disposals for the day, and none of them have been intercepts. Yeah. It's a one man wall down there. Yeah. Do you dismantle the wall and no, get him up forward to win the game? They have to win to keep their finals chances yeah. alive. But the only reason they're still in this game is because of him. No point being in the game. No manning in the Gotta mark for the Saints. <laughs> Dunstan goes long and turns it over. Had their opportunity, the Saints. Port were just too quick to get goal side. Then too lazy, the Saints' opportunity to score. Hit out long. Westhoff nudged underneath it. Out the back, Young. Handled too much on it there for Westhoff. It's good work by Savage to open it up to oh. Billings, to Dunstan. He was sold into trouble. Tackle by Wines, Broadbent, Young, good pressure from both sides. And Dunstan gathers again. Stephen just puts it on the boot. High way to the top of the square. Important contest, and it's taken. Akers waiting down there has got it. That's the matchup. A small down there, mid-range player. I mean, he's, he's a very tall wingman type, if you like. But, gee, did they need that. Port would be really disappointed. Well, Jonas was the man on him, too. Jonas, you'd, you'd back him in to beat Akers more often than not. I thought that was a good matchup for Port Adelaide. A huge mark with the seconds ticking away. They have struggled in front of goal today, St Kilda, but Akers makes no mistake. And that is a big, big goal right on the stroke of three-quarter time. We're set up for a huge finish at the Adelaide Oval. Finals positions on the line for both of these sides. And as we turn for home, it's the power by seven points. Great to try and win it in the midfield for them. Bottom line is, you need your stars when the game's in the balance. Saints midfielders, are you stars or not yet? Huge final quarter at the Adelaide Oval. And Robbie Gray, one of the stars for the power, inserting himself there into the game. The kick for Port Adelaide. Out to half forward, Dixon. For Sam Gray, around his body, dangerous ball, but Weller will recover the best. Billings, long to the wing, looking for Membry. Important spoil in there from Pittard. So Carlo has started back. They haven't pulled the trigger there. They've got Bruce <laughs> in forward 50, Gresham up there as well. First goal of this term will be crucial. It's been hard to come by all evening. Longer with the hit out down. Weller bursting onto the ball. Awkward one for Byrne Jones. He did well to keep it in front of him and see it over the line. You can just see Akers trying to wrap around the back and trying to get Pittard to the goal square. That's the sort of matchup they want to create at full forward. They love to kick the high ball to the top of the square, so everyone's a chance when that high ball comes in. Gresham going back as well, deep. Akers kicking a goal after the three-quarter time siren. Reduce the margin back to seven points. And that kick off the instep. Possession back to Port Adelaide. Yep. That's it, Jack. So Polek to take it. Disposal number 19 coming up. It's a high one in the rider direction. Capital beat. Longer was right there with him. Great pick up by Dixon. Charging through a couple of tackles. He did get a handball away in the end. Billings. His first handball wasn't all that effective. Webster in there. Brown, Robertson Squeezed a kick over the top. And Stephen was waiting for it. Oh. And a run of Billings. But the handball was behind him. And Pollock can steal it away. 1-2 with Wines. Quick one to half forward. Carlisle strong again. I'm going to knock it away. Long up. Got it back. Now Webster. Geary. And the Saints can try and set something up. Hold in. Ross in no hurry. Well, Adelaide marking their men well. And the kick forced yeah. it wide and out of bounds on the full. Kicking straight, whether it's in during the field play or in goals, going to decide this game. That it's been so tight. And Carlisle again, another lunging spoil. They've been full of praise for him. Kingy's been immense this afternoon. Yeah, he has. I mean, he's controlled that back line. I just don't think St Kilda are brave enough. You've got to sometimes go back around the half-back flank, back around the umbrella, get it out the other side, keep the energy in the game. Oh, crooked. Oh, yeah, he's going to be pulled back, surely. Yeah, will be recalled. That's a mulligan. A bit dizzy there or something going on. I just had a lost the compass. Sinker. <laughs> Bound round by. Plenty of pressure on the restart. Yeah. Better. 
Ryder down. Long ball by Sinclair up to half forward. Cleary there wrestling with Membry. Cleary knocked it down. Billings waiting for it. Couldn't find a way through it. Broadbent and Burn Jones combined to get it back to Polek. And then wide. Ryder can keep it alive. Robbie Gray. Back for Amon. Back for Robbie Gray. Working in a tight space. And finding a target. Polek again. Amon continued to run. Next link in the chain over the top is Impey. So Kilda scrambling to get back. They've got, they got numbers 40 at Port Adelaide. They really should score here. Goes long to the tall target of Dixon. Just Charlie Dixon taking a big mark right at the top of the square. It, it just didn't go, Nathan Brown. I, I'm not sure why he didn't jump. He froze. He just he basically spectated and watched his opponent wrap around. And I think he was in a reasonable position. Rue to get back. I'd like to have another look at it. Well, Conditions-wise, it's been a tough night for the key forwards. And this is a big kick for the power. Charlie Dixon makes no mistake, and they land the first goal of the final term. Yeah, massive goal by Charlie Dixon. Let's have a look where he comes from. Let's have a look there, the work back. And just runs back now. And Brown's looking and going. He's just froze there. Absolutely. If you're in doubt, go. If you're in doubt, go and punch it as hard as you can. Even if someone else is going to go and you're going to spoil your opponent, you've got to go. Well done, Charlie Dixon. Good work ethic. That's what's been good for him this year. Second, third, fourth effort, efforts. Not always marking it and kicking goals, but on that occasion did exactly that. 35th goal of the season for Dixon. That's St Kilda. Get it out of the middle. And the long ball forward, but Jonas... Port Adelaide making the better start to this final quarter. Yeah, absolutely. Huge goal there for the start of the quarter. Now St. Kilda, not, not just yet, but they will have to start taking some more risks shortly. Power Pepper went underneath that one. Ryder gave it up to Geary, but it spilled to Amon. It's kicked touch, kept in by Carlisle. Ross heard the voice of Dunstan. Now the long ball forward, Membry playing in front, he's got it on the chest. That handball of Carlisle sets that whole play alight. Just coming back into the corridor, you don't know where it's going to finish, but you've got to be aggressive early with your, uh, your disposals and your aggression to come back through the corridor, and it's perfect handball. Well, they've missed that many goals, they need to start kicking a few, well, not lucky ones, but ones with lower percentage. This from outside 50 in these conditions is a tough kick. Three goals, 12 before this kick. He kicked a controversial one in the second term after it wasn't sure if it hit the post before he received it. Now from outside 50, he launches from long range, and it's there. The Saints get the quick reply. Well, it's game on. <laughs> Again, there's only seven points in it. Huge kick by memory there. Good mark, great finish. They haven't been able to do it all day. There's the handball. Big handball, risky handball, yep. but... What it does do is it opens up the uh, goal front where the forward can run out and take a chest mark. And a huge kick too. Well, Membry back from suspension, kicks the goal. And the trend has been broken. The players have found their radars. The last four shots at goal have gone through the big sticks. And the power... Out of the middle, Robbie Gray to Dixon, who presents again. Assessing his options, looking for a target. Oh. He decides to just go long towards the square, but it comes up just short. Nice mark to White. Here's the mark. Thought he was just about to go all the way there, Charlie Dixon. White out of defence. Broadbent had to make the contest. Gresham, being quiet, was waiting for it. Now Stephen. Good strength by Power Pepper to get him over the line. It's been a great battle. It really has been an intriguing game. They've been able to answer regularly, Port Adelaide. The next goal becomes critical. <laughs> if the Saints can really challenge them here, you've just got to 
You've got to allow them to get wobbly, Rue. This is where you might get a free kick inside forward 50 by a defender who gets a little bit pressurised. Bit of perceived pressure. Gray had it a long time. Didn't really dispose of it. Ball squeezed to the boundary line. How yeah, big's Robbie Gray? Oh, that's deliberate the call. The wow. Sorry to go. I was just saying, the impact Robbie Gray, we spoke at the start of the game, should be in the midfield. He's had a big uh, impact through there since halfway through the first quarter. So after that, oh, free kick. Webster takes a good mark under some heavy contact. That's a kick. And it is a good one. Through the middle of the ground. Bruce there. Hopsch did just enough to disrupt the mark. Billings scrambling after it. He's tackled by Tringo. And oh. now pushing the back. That's a tough one, that one, when you get your weight, when you tackle them like that. But Billings is going to go direct. Along to the top of the square again. Membry just off hands. He's looking for a big impact in this final term. Ball still in dispute. Steele got there first. It squeezes to the side of the pack. Sam Gray just went off the deck and gained a lot of metres for his team. Trengove, he goes straight to the line, but it won't go out. Savage there first. White's got him calling. Now White under some pressure and he controlled it nicely. That was cleverly done. And he'll go in short. White in his second game showing plenty of composure. Now long by Sinclair. Inside 50 acres was there, but Hartlett the spoil. Good spoil, Hartlett. Game on. You can just feel now the pressure's just gone up a notch. This is going to be a massive finish to this game. Just got to be clean, got to be composed. Can't feel the heat. Can't try and create options that aren't there if you're Port Adelaide. Play the percentages. Dunstan, Dunstan having a big impact on the game for the Saints. There's Pal Pepper. Not the 15, so I have to keep it going. Good tackle by White. On the other White. Certainly don't, going to be a ball up. Certainly don't want to go to ground when you don't have to either. And you can do that under pressure. And in these conditions, you go to ground. There's a fair chance you could get uh, pinned here. Brandon and Matt in the contest there. Sinclair spun in the tackle, got his boot to it. Trengove ripped off it by Longer. Stephen diving on top of it, had to try and tunnel ball it out. Might be destined for another stoppage. Well, well this is where they've really responded, the Saints. They've won five of the last seven clearances, and they're starting to get the territory battle in their favour. Their handball game and their overlap from clearance is a real threat right now. Just Miss Sinclair. Ross, the pickup. Stephen getting busier in this final term. Steal off one step up to the 50. Oh, and grab. Chopping into intercept. Yeah, that's a very good mark. Stepped off his line, so quarter play on the runner trying to get out of the area. Amon got rid of his man and continues to go with a long kick. It's wide, it's floating, it's wafting over the line. So a missed opportunity there by the power. Twelve and a half minutes to go. Carlisle. Oh, terrible kick. It was straight to three power players, and Pittard just helped himself. Wasn't to the advantage side at all of Longer. Up to the 50. Westhoff will fly in the pack. Oh. Tringo waiting down again. Just couldn't release a shot on goal. Feeds it inboard to Boak. Had the support of Young. St Kilda scrambling desperately. Westhoff receiving. Kicking. Touched. Touched just before the line. Wow. <laughs> this game is tight. Nothing's really happening to blow it apart, is it? Jack Sinclair saving oh. a goal there. Uh, he might cost one because he's turned it over and kicked it straight to Ebert. They're all set up on this side and he's gone to the opposite side well, to a two-on-one. The kick was there. The kick was there. It just had to be out in front. He had to kick it to the left-hand side. It. it was just a horrible kick out. Caught by eight points before this kick. Can kick a long goal, perhaps. Ebert from outside 50. Launches into it. Looking good off the boot. It's home. Well, he's had a sensational year, Brad Ebert. His best year, I would say, career best year. And that is a massive goal. A very important goal. Gives him a good break. Still plenty of time for St Kilda to come back. But a big goal at a big time. Top four's on the line here for Port Adelaide. They'd be filthy if they lost to St Kilda on their home deck today.
Got the big guns in the middle. Ebert, Ryder, Gray, and Wines. Averaging 26 touches a game. Ebert only had the 13 today, but that is a big moment. Quick oh. kick by Robbie Gray forward. And now Impey. Leading a couple of Saints to the football. Left it behind for Power Pepper. Sam Gray. The quick snap. Trengo down there. Carlisle. Crucial. Got it across to Robin, but he was pushed. If it had been a tackle, he would have been holding the ball, but there was hands in the back. Yep. Robin. That's a... Waits for the run of Savage. Kick. It was to set them up. And he's away with a bounce. And a second. Shane Savage now a third bounce around the boundary line. He goes with a fourth. Powell Pepper can't go with him. He hooks it back to a dangerous spot, looking for a target. Out the back, Gresham waits, accepts, and goals! <laughs> Game on! Oh, you called for Gresham King oh. at halftime. You said he's a chance, but what a play by Savage. Let's have a look at the free to Robert. And it was a push in the back when he went to kick it. And it was definitely there. There's no debating that one. Good but what good. about the run? That was an awesome kick to kick yeah. the space there, to back him in. Courage to and run. good run move. by uh, Powell Pepper to chase him. But Savage just kept going. He kept going. Probably could have kept going. But went to the top of the square. Look at Gresham. Snuck out the back. Goal. What an awesome game. It's still going. Just thought Port Adelaide just had a little bit of momentum there, but Jeez. St Kilda won against the Tide. Back to eight points. Can the Saints get within a goal? Yeah. Free kick in the middle, and Robbie Gray is certainly causing some headaches in there. That was a free. Well, this is when the stars come to play, and Robbie Gray never lets you down. Away to Hartlett. Long inside 50. Dixon, strong hands. Brilliant hands. I'll tell you, it could be a shootout in the last quarter, boys. Well, Nathan Brown is going to be really disappointed with his last couple of contests. He was in really good position with this ball coming in in flight. He really didn't take any anything off the forward. He let Dixon fly clean. And he's six foot eight. Didn't do his work early, and he pays the price. It's the extra size of Charlie Dixon helping him to take the mark. And a big kick. Back the other way for the power Oops. from the paint of 50. Sprayed it wide. Sprayed it very wide, in fact. Out of bounds on the full. Love to win a centre clearance here, St. Kilda. If they get another chance, they're 4-1 in this last quarter against oh, them. Robbie Gray having a big impact in there. The kick again to was, a, was to a two-on-one out of defence. And Cleary can chip it back to Westhoff. Well, it's going to two-on-ones because the forwards for St. Kilda won't work up the field. They're allowing the midfield to be everything for them. And unfortunately, they're... Not coming to the party, but Port Adelaide structure, it's been their success all year, their press, and it's just coming to the fore under fatigue. Big kick for Hoff. Kicked 20 goals this year. He's in goal-kicking form. He is capable. Oh, yeah. He's kicking from just outside 50 as well. Strikes it nicely, but it'll come up a bit short. Another tall target's got out at Geary to Nunes, who kicks straight out of defence and straight to the line. Oh, he's going to pay it too. You, yeah. can't, you can't wait to play that you one. You couldn't wait. You could see he was striding out yeah. when they stride out. Oh, yeah. They yeah. Get the, Under pressure, the but not enough intent to keep it alive. Broadbent back inside 50, and Bruce they drifting got, back to help out. They got the message, Kingy. They all bolted inside 50 there because uh, they do have to get down and support this back line. It's under siege at the moment. They do also have to score, and if Bruce goes back, they just need someone up here. Cleary, the knees right in the back of Membry to spoil it away. Akers. Down to Nunes. This is the problem. To a two-on-one again. Sinclair out-positioned and Pinard right. with the easy spoil to the line. You can only fix one problem at a time. You have to stop Port scoring first through when it's down there. Now they get their structure back. Who's that tall I'm going to be? a bit more of an all-in sort of coach. Oh, you, if you are. haven't worked that you out. Are. Well, who's going to win the game? Who Kick more goals in the opposition. Who do you want down there? Like I've been asking for. Keep in mind it's seven goals to five. Ryder. Cleanly down, but Ross... Able to steal it. Steven crunched by a couple. Then worked it away from his own teammate. Bruce held it a long time. And a free kick going oh, to Saints. They're going to be fuming here, Port Adelaide. They're minus nine for free kicks today. And they're not happy. I've come here in the wet. White with a driving kick long towards Membry. The oh, two oh. power players spoil each other. Gresham almost out the back. Sinclair had the support of Weller. Back onto the right boot, snapping. And he's kicked a goal. Secure a right in it. 
Well, that's, that's it's about predictability, Rue. They, they know where this is going. They know it's going to the top of the goal square. They're going to get it there as quick as they can. Free what was this free for here? Too high. It was uh, paid for. In the back. The back. Oh. oh, that's unlucky. That was there. That was there. Yeah. Gresham's had a couple of good crumbs. Good tackle by Pittard. Good finish. And a finish that they needed. Just have a look at the average games for these two teams, and that is a massive difference. You can just see there, it's 40-odd games of experience per player. So you'd think under siege, under pressure, that Port Adelaide would have the composure. Maybe not. McKenzie wrapped up. Robert and puts it on the boot. It's a two-point ball game. Memory to the front. Knocked away from him. Gray oh. had it dispossessed. Dunstan kept it moving. Weller got it up to Billings. Handball inside for Nunes. He saw Stephen creeping forward. The power desperate after it. Dunstan onto the boot. He snapped another. And the Saints are in front. <laughs> They haven't been able to kick a goal all day, and they've kicked four straight in the last quarter. I'm pretty happy four with the straight. line, how it looks, Ruth. <laughs> it's going OK, <laughs> but they're kicking straight. Let's have a look. What, what were they? They were going for holding the ball there, and quite rightly, could have easily been yeah. holding the ball. They let it go. Gee. Oh, this is a massive upset. Oh, yeah. Oh, this could be a huge upset. It's been a weekend of upsets already. Oh, but look at that. Look, puts Port Adelaide right back in the pack. Saints. And Saints well in, oh no, in just eight. in the eight. That'll do. Well, they're in at the moment after that goal. That's the live ladder. Port still have something to say about it as Ryder goes to the 50. Carlisle knocks it towards the line. Take it over. All right. Yeah. Get there. Far, from over, far from over. Far from over here. Who's it going to be, Root? I think this is where Paddy Ryder has really come to the fore in games under oh. pressure. He's he's hit out work. He needs to get this clearance game rectified. I said to, about Travis Boak at halftime. He's had two disposals in the second half, Bokey. Come on, big fella. You're the skipper. Get your hands on the ball and do something. It's been an impressive fight back by the Saints to snatch the lead. Plenty more twists and turns in this one. Robbie Gray soccering the ball away. McKenzie, the late inclusion, making his impact felt. A high ball up the wing. Plenty of numbers underneath it. Bruce has been a target all afternoon. Knocked away. Steele was there with Gray. Ryder had a fresh airy. In there is Wines trying to bust his way through. McKenzie the smother. Ryder, great handball out to Robbie Gray. The power inside. 50. Carlisle. Oh, strong again. <laughs> the interceptor. Guess who? Billy Long is in a bit of trouble here just behind the play at the moment in that glass contest. So hopefully he's all right. They need the big man down the line here. Carlisle does go down the line. Bruce attacking it late, sees it over the line. Plenty of time here. St Kilda can't save this game. There's six and a half minutes to go. I'm not sure what happened there. Might have happened before that. Big belly. He's still out there. Long up. And he'll go up against Trengo. Knocked it down to Steele. Wines there with him. Little toe poke only goes as far as Acres. Steel over the top to release Ross, who arches the back, trying to get away. Too much speed there for Tringo. The deep kick inside, 50. Sinclair waiting down for it. Handball to Loney. Loney, the snap to go. Won't have the legs. Waiting, waiting for Broadbent to come and smother it and spoil it away. And now Amon out of defence. There he goes. Pal Pepper trying to protect the ball. Instead, it's sent straight back inside, 50. Pittard had the run at it. And able to... Run it out of defence as well with a pirouette. Oh. Jasper Pittard taking the game on in his return to the senior side. He goes again, runs into trouble, draws a couple. <laughs> They're living dangerously, Port Adelaide. And they have to. They need to kick a goal in five and a half minutes. Polek to Boat. Back for Pittard again, unsure where to go. Tringo. Back out wide for Polek. Now they've got some overlap. Boat. The skipper, you call for him to stand up. And now he's driving the kick long towards Westhoff. He locks with Carlisle. Ball in dispute. Sam Gray there just needs to get a boot to it. Was he held? Oh. McKenzie, scramble on the goal line, touched. Gee. Well, it's in front of the hill down there. Half the hill are coming towards the goal umpire. What about the one-on-one -on -one with Carlisle on Westhoff? Yeah, that was huge. And then oh. Sam Gray was in position there, and they just couldn't get to it. A free kick to Sam Gray. Every day of the week, Rue. He's held by Savage. 
And now some Kilda at half back. Stephen Bruce steal bump heavily, but he got his boot to the ball and found a man playing in front. Sinclair's had a big final yeah. point. Now they've got a two on one. The Saints, if the ball stays in, but it doesn't. Oh. They were away. That would have been a certain goal. Loney was streaking inside 50. Have a look at this. That is a hold. Every day of the week. 26 to 19, the free kicks. St Kilda's way at Adelaide Oval. Definitely had the rub of the green. And they've been working hard to get them as well. Ross tackled off the side of the boot. Bounces important. Clurry sees it away. Another free kick. St Kilda's way. Yeah. Pushing the back. Oh, they're going to go wild. Yeah. The noise of affirmation hasn't worked today. No. So Loney with a long ball towards Membry. Over the back, couldn't hang on. Almost would have paid the man in front. Sinclair there, Stephen. Ball jarred loose. Steal onto the boot. The quick snap, always hooking too far. Got to be composed there, Port Adelaide. There's enough time. Let's have a look at uh, Membry here. Did he mark it? Oh. Very nearly marked it, but uh, they can't complain. What can Port do? They go long up the middle. Do you, do you bide your time four and a half minutes is a long time or you're gonna get three or four more opportunities yep. yeah you got to take the percentage option what a mark by ollie wines in the middle of that pack also got to take it on a bit though but you don't want to don't want to be stupid about it but you're gonna to have to break the pack somehow wines to a contest sam gray got rid of his man that time just didn't hang on to the mark shovels it towards the boundary line it's kept alive. Loney squirts the kick forward. Steele holding on to Ebert. No, oh, coming back to St Kilda. Another push in the back. Oh, yeah. my God. Well, we've got uh, four minutes left to go in this game. And I think more than ever this year, we've talked about clock management. What do you do if you're St Kilda? What do you do if you're Port? Situational training's been in vogue for years. But to be able to take a minute off the clock right now would be amazing for St Kilda. Loney long to half forward. Wines almost another mark. Stephen slipping over. Knocked it to the line. Boundary throwing. Yeah, it's a, it's a fine line between taking a minute off the clock and, and doing it too slowly and preventing a scoring opportunity, isn't it? So it's it is it's tricky, and everyone analyses how you should do it. It's not easy, is it? No. Four-point ball game. The seconds ticking away. Knocked down nicely by Ryder. Straight to Poli. Put Adelaide up the wing. Dixon attracted a crowd. Brown there with him that time. Sam Gray as well, but Akers arrives to help. Back for Carlisle, who's played a huge game for the Saints. Now to half forward. Pit up, important spoil, but straight down the throat of Stephen. Looking for an option. He controls it into the pocket, and probably a good result as well, because he finds the line when he couldn't find a target, and it'll be kept in a dangerous area. That, that's as deliberate as any <laughs> kick today. Well, it's been six free kicks to St Kilda and two to Port Adelaide the last quarter. They didn't fire up for that one, Kingy, but they've probably run out of puff. It's not helping. I've just given up. Only four on the free kicks. The margin. Longer down. Stephen roving. Sinclair spinning out of a tackle. He's been big in the final term. He couldn't get a shot away. Billings with the sidestep. He sends it to the top of the square. They're looking for a mark. Polek. Now Port Adelaide have to go. Now they're going to run. They're going to gut run. Even if their legs are exhausted, they've got to try and create something. They go straight down the corridor. Impy. There's options out wide. They're going to go to the outside. Oh, He's no. left the kick short, though, and Webster intercepts and wants to continue to go on the counter-attack. They can punish because Membry's taken the mark. When you kick like that, you kick as far as you can. You're better off missing too far so they can run onto it. You don't give the defenders a chance by going short. That's the sort of stuff that does your head in as a coach. You talk about that. You practice about that. You dissect them in reviews. He had to go too far. Now, this is clock management. You take your full 30 seconds and only allow two minutes left on the clock for Port Adelaide if you do miss. Never kicked a goal from this position. Be a nice time to start. Well, not for Port Adelaide. They've been spraying shots left and right most of the evening of St Kilda, but right now they cannot miss and take a big step towards the finals. Oh, this is incredible. This is incredible. They've kicked five goals, one in this quarter, St Kilda, they kicked three goals, 12 prior to it, five wonders in the last quarter. This is the kick by Impey. He had to boot it as hard as he can over the top, take him out of the play, go to the boundary, go further. 
bad kick. But Tim Membry with three goals. Sat on the sidelines the last two weeks through suspension. You can see the fight back by the Saints. But there's still time for Port Adelaide if they can recover. St Kilda through Acres with a handball wide. Steele after it. Hartlett went strongly as well. Good tackle. And a ball up. Well, now you hit the space, now you surge. You don't allow the Saints to lock the ball in. You yeah. need to take risks. This is full risk for Port Adelaide. Yeah. Full risk. Doesn't always mean you knock it forward. Ryder's going to jump up. They're going to predict that he's going to hit it forward. Maybe hit it straight back. Longer. Down to Sinclair. He's had a big final term. He just gains territory. Better pay that. And a boundary throw in. Wow. Supporters are giving up. They're not even arguing with the freeze anymore. They're walking out the door. They're in the car park. They're filthy. Absolutely filthy. Another lost opportunity here on their home deck. 21 scoring shots to 16. The St Kilda kicked a lot on the full as well. Steele, Sinclair, tumbling ball bouncing St Kilda's way. Ross knocked it on. Loney after it. Strong tackle on Burn Jones. They're just trying to lock it up as much as they can, but then that kick from Ross does just open the door a bit for the power. The time's certainly against them. Here's Polek. They can go straight up the middle if they want. Boak, unsure where to go. Gives it back for the run of Polek. A lunging chase. The tackle couldn't stick. Long inside, 50. Sport down by Geary. Saints have the numbers. Westhoff had the strength. Young has to finish here. Snaps to goal. Oh. He does. We're still alive at the Adelaide Oval. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Come on, Kingy. Well... That's just making something out of nothing, isn't it? Well, Fantastic. they did it brilliantly. Fantastic from Westhoff. Pollock's run. They did everything right. They had to stay aggressive off half-back. They did. Look at this here from Westhoff. Just to stay involved. Four versus two. Young's first effort. Gets a head through and just burrows out. Quality finish. Saints had numbers there. They had support, but Port was simply too good. What, what a finish. What a finish. What a finish. Port Adelaide need a goal to win. They won five centre clearances in this last quarter to St Kilda's three. They've got Ryder in the ruck. They've got their guns in the middle. Let's watch. Saints by four points. Oh. Out of the middle, Ryder knocks it. Dunstan shoveled it up. Oh, the look at this. It lands with Polek. The power go to the 50. Dick's a great spoil. Great spoil by Brown. Pittard followed up. Knocked it away. Oh. Wides went in hard. Sinclair was bumped almost head high. They pile in on top of the football. We're going to get a stoppage and a ball up what now about with just spoil. 30 seconds. Now, this is when you've got to practice it. St Kilda got one player in their forward half. The rest of their players are gone in the defence. 30 seconds to go. The ball in the Powers forward line. Ryder slaps it wide to the side of the pack. Billings in there. Robert and had a fumble. Billings recovers. Webster, they oh, can't rush it through here. Carlisle just has to clear it out oh, of the air. Straight to the he's line. Got to pay is that, that deliberate? Frozen. They've frozen. They've missed the last three. 19 seconds on the clock. So much riding on this game for the two coaches. Ken Hinckley and Alan Richardson. They can't do anything more from here. They have to just watch and see how it plays out. Ryder over the back in oh. the path of Robbie Gray. He's a superstar for the power. He goes long. And they've got the legs. Yes! Robbie Gray's kicked a big goal. superstar that is an unbelievable individual performance the hit from Ryder into space was awesome the connection and the timing absolutely superb and away they go they missed out on the deliberate that was clearly the only option Carlisle had look at the clock the seven second look at that hit over the back Gray says you know what I don't trust anyone else I'm going myself I've had no he's had nine disposals in the last quarter he is their best player by a mile and all the Port Adelaide fans that are halfway across the footbridge are wondering back. what the hell Still six seconds to go. Out of the middle of the power, trying to hold it up. They look dead and buried, Port Adelaide. But they won! <laughs> A remarkable comeback from Port Adelaide. They were ten points down and come back to steal victory.
let's get down to Ben Dixon with the man of the moment, Robbie Gray. Thanks very much, Pabs. Robbie, they got around you at the end. Unbelievable moment. Uh, only seconds to go. How'd that feel? Yeah, it's an amazing feeling. Um, you know, it was really tough. Hard for you to win. You know, like we're going to get there for the minute, but um, you know, Paddy was fantastic. Nice little tap land in my lap, so it was, uh, it was good. It went through. What a big game for Port Adelaide. Ollie Wine's giving you a pat on the back. When that was in the balance, you knew exactly how long to go, but what a big moment. Yeah, it was pretty big. Um, you know, they've got a couple of late ones on us, and we sort of had to roll the dice a little bit there at stoppage, so um, they don't always come off, but when they do, it's pretty nice. How big for your season? Top four, it's there in the market. It's in, your destiny's in your own hands. Everyone's spoken about your battles against the top eight, but week in, week out, your challenges lie in front. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, it's a really even competition, so um, you know, it was a, a fantastic effort. We just have to keep it going now. Um, Every game's so important, there's only a few left, so uh, great win and um, you know, we'll move on next week. What about you personally? You spent a lot of time forward, it's nice to get up in the midfield, have a big impact. The conditions probably suit you because it's not ideal for the small forwards today, but you had the impact in the mid. Yeah, it was good. Um, you know, we rotated a fair bit in there, um, you know, down forward and in the midfield, so it's always good fun getting around the footy and um, yeah, it's just a great result. Penny's giving me a wind up, he wants to give you a kiss and a cuddle, I'll let you go. <laughs> Thanks, Dicko. Cheers, mate. Well done. What an unbelievable finish. I thought they were gone, Port. They, they got two goals with a minute and 18 left on the clock. Well, they were Two gone. brilliant plays. They earned those goals. They weren't fluky goals. The first goal was unbelievable. The second goal was just sheer class. Feedback. Failure is feedback, Rue. And I, I tell you what, we analyse the game within an inch of its life. But when it comes down to moments, that last stoppage, Ross versus Gray. Let's get back down to Ben Dixon. Very much, Pabs. Kenny... Um, massive win uh, for the footy club, but tell us about the last few moments for you in the coach's box. Yeah, they were, they were terrible, to be honest. You, you know, you think you've played reasonable all day in a scrappy game that, and you had enough to be in front, but St Kilda's credit, they just went for it and they come at us and they got the score. You know, I think with a minute to go or a minute and a half to go, we're two goals down, you're not likely, and then enter Rob Gray. Yeah, unbelievably. Started forward and then we know what sort of conditions presented today, but to have him in the, in, the midfield and the impact for the whole game for Robbie Gray was enormous. Yeah, he was. He's a pretty special player. We understand that. I think sometimes, you know, you just got to win a game like this where everything seems to be tipping against you at the wrong time. I think it's great for the boys. They'll take a fair bit of belief out of that. And, you know, what a big game next week to come back to. Yeah, huge for your footy club, I mentioned. Three-quarter time, you said, be composed, play our way. And uh, half-time, I know you're pretty animated. Uh, a bit stagnant with your ball, but you're pleased with the second half and get the four points. Yeah, we were really... I mean, you get out of jail. Sometimes you, uh, you have to accept it and you, you acknowledge the opposition. And we did, and we take the four points. It's big in a season as tight as this, though. We're just watching your reaction to the win on the monitor at the moment, the big fist pump. It's a pressure cooker at times for a coach, but as you said, uh, falls your way every now and then, you'll take it. Yeah, excuse me, it's a shit of a time, i got to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much fun when it's like that, but, you know, when you get away with something like that, it's pretty special. Good idea, Kenny. Thanks, mate. Oh, that is great scenes, Kenny. Clear. You can see the emotion. You can see how much it means, and it really does set up their season. A big chance now at the double chance. You're going to need luck in this year, Rue. There's no doubt about that. We talk about stars separating games all the time, and this year more than most. I mean, what a great feeling for that coach as well. And they've been through they a bit. They can't believe they've it. They've been through a lot over the last of couple of years. Of course they have. They've been down and out for two years. This has been a big comeback by Port Adelaide. He is a superstar. He is a freak, Robbie oh, Gray. He won't believe what he just did. What a talent. Oh, Patrick Ryder, awesome hit. Great take I think and a lose. super goal. But both teams kicked nine three in that last quarter. Nine goal three. First three quarters was just eight goals nineteen. You might lose the mantle tonight in South Australia. He might oh. just be he might just <laughs> be on. the premier. Uh, brilliant stuff. Let's go down to Ben Dixon. We've got uh, the ball, the raging ball, he winds. Uh, Robbie Gray kicks the sealer, but with a minute to go, you get told. But when uh, that stoppage came about, you had no idea how long, did you? No, not at all. Um, look, he's special. He's a very special player. First of all, the goal from Youngie, snapping out of congestion. Um, and then Robbie, oh, first of all, Paddy putting it down his throat. And he hasn't been the best of set shots this year, Rob, but <laughs> obviously three points down to win the game is pretty good. He's... Uh, He's something special, and um, it's yeah, very cool to be involved in this. Coming to this game of footy, everyone tips you. You're the favourites uh, coming in, but St Kilda, they threw everything at you. Certainly did, and look, the conditions probably didn't suit really free-flying footy, and it was a territory game, a lot of punting down the line, so they probably beat us at the punt, which is something we'll have to have a look at, but look, you've got to win them tight some days. Uh, 
this year all our wins have probably been by fair margin, so it's good to win one with the last kick of the day. What about you personally driving in the game? You know it's going to be wet, uh, monsoon conditions. Do you lick the lips because you love the inside game? Oh, a little bit, but look, I generally get told that. Every time I rock up to wet weather footy, everyone's like, oh, it's your day. You love these conditions, <laughs> but not really. Not, not many people like playing in the wet, so uh, it was good to get a win in the wet. We haven't played in it for a while. and. Um, yeah, pretty pumped at the moment. Well, you're in the top four and got a healthy percentage, so well done, Ollie. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Ollie Thanks White's so there with Ben Dixon, and, and what a comeback it was from the power. Let's have a look at their last two goals, which came inside the last minute and a half. Well, this is four versus two. Westhoff just an awareness to know where Young's getting to. He's sneaking out the back. Oh, that no, activity at, at its best. But for the ball use from half back to get it there was special. Look at this. Oh. Bang, duck, play it on, take a risk. But the finish there is equally as good as anything. Where the Secure will rue that last stop is their organisation really poor. Didn't have any corridor cover. Didn't have hard one on one on Robbie Gray, the most dangerous man on the field. It's not quite Mark Wahlberg leaving at half time of the Super Bowl, but you have to feel for the fans that headed for the nah, exits. I don't feel for them at all. And then at half to go, go home. They would not have known what was the well, noise was all about. Stay home and stay at the game and find out. Mark. You deserve what you get if you leave early. Come on, Mark. You do. Well, they missed a big moment, those that headed for the exits. It was a remarkable <laughs> fight back from St Kilda initially and then from Port Adelaide to yep. come back when they were 10 points down inside the last two minutes. It sets up a huge clash with the showdown against the Crows next week. And they might be destined for the top four. Well, what an amazing game.